Mm. Yeah, I'm just not getting it. I had to cancel and start again because it was still trying. Oh my god. Yeah, mine kicked me back out, and then when I connected the second time, it got me. Uh, anyone want to recap the shenanigans? Shenanigans for the for the bards that weren't here. We really think. I'm sorry. All right, I know how that feels. I know that yeah. feels, bro. It was rough. We didn't get better until like Friday. Oh really? That is rough. Friday, Friday afternoon, all of a sudden, it was just like, like yeah, nap, very sudden. Like, oh, it was very sudden. Oh, I feel better now, but wow. I'm I actually I scheduled was rough. I scheduled my vaccine, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. My doctor says even though I've got allergies, I should be fine. So we'll see. Yep. Who knows? Everybody, who knows? Uh, so what did we do last time? We um, ice we. Pack. Went, no, we, the freezer. we did end up in the freezer, but that's did. not initially where we went. Oh, yeah. Who um, was the guy we met at the end? So uh, uh, like you the guys have met the, j mm -hmm. uh, the jailer at the dungeon. Yeah, that's where you guys okay. started. That's a, ga that's a gas fire. That's a gas fire, so we'd have to run a gas line. <laughs> it's like, whoa, what? <laughs> and then you guys had a gas fire? It was intense. Um... Yeah, so you guys have left the dungeon after a ring. Yeah. finding Headley. Free up for space? What? No. Leave Sorry, me. yeah, Headley was his name, right? Yes, Headley. you found Headley. And then um, after you guys had left the dungeon, you decided to investigate the ice works. There was yes. like a weird lore connection with my, with my home, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a guy. We ended in the dungeon. The ghost. And you guys that went up and talked to the ghost. We started by talking to the ghost. Yeah, talking that's where you guys ghost. started. Yep. And we found out that the castle used, used to be in the land where Sabathurst is from. Like another plane, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like no, a plane. Oh, okay. You guys yeah, did it is a it shifted. It is a plane shifting castle. Yes. It's currently on our plane in Pazubia, Pazubia. south of Sisa. But it may be going somewhere else again soon, so we're kind of anxious to get out of here. So then we went to the Iceworks, and in the Iceworks, there were a bunch of, like, pipes coming from this big, like, I don't know, or like a refrigeration machine. A water conversion thing, right? Like so yeah. Water to drinking water? But it was, like, it super... Terrifier. It was super <laughs> frozen over. Like... Blue lanterns. Yeah. And then, what were they? Were they lanterns? Is that what it was, Andy? They were blue lanterns. Made by fungus. Yeah. Made by fungus. Super, but they were super cold. Cool. And there was some kind of huge cube in the center that we didn't really poke too much. Mm -mm. Just like a block of ice, right? Big yeah, that was the thing that was super over, over frozen. Yeah, like a freezer that's been left for years. Yeah. Out thawing it out. Um, we did, did we find anything else in that room? Uh, yeah. So realize that fire is bad against ice oh yeah fire oh, against bad. the ice oh, yeah. yeah fire magic did not work against the ice Rachel has cool. found every great weapon to not <laughs> use it yeah. was really good she was like oh Lightning you sword split the ooze yeah that was and then good. my fucking fire sword well, put it in the ice give me the ice explode in my oh. face why why did we black clinics when did we fight the ooze and Rachel went after the friendly, not so friendly ghost lady? I think that was before, before I was fire. Yeah, that was before I was fire. I was that was lightning. before the ice works, and okay. you guys camped out for the night. Um, yeah. Did we talk about so, finding the prisoner? Yeah, he heady, heady. We went through two side doors. One was a servant's quarter, where we found a journal saying that the castle was lost to drift in time and space. Yep. People were starting dying and rising again in strange, aberrant ways with like extra mouths and eyes, eyeballs and stuff. Yep. We went to the armory, another side room, where we found a journal from Guard Keith. He was the first person to ever grow up entirely in the castle and he never knew the outside. He was like the third generation of people from the castle. And he took detailed notes. Yeah. We took a long rest. I was like, who the hell was Keith? Oh, that's right. I made his Guard Keith. name up. <laughs> his name is. Keith. <laughs> uh, long. We took a long rest in the campsite. Melandra saw a ghost. Oh yeah, we used the magic campsite. 
then she went to a ghost and poked her head out the head of the ghost, and she got possessed. Yeah, she she put it up at me again. Yeah, and then she chased a ghost and, and got possessed by it. Yeah. <laughs> and then she kicked yeah, my butt. That's great. Yep, I slash slashed. Yep. Slash slash slash. <laughs> yep. And I, I knocked her out with my shield, kind of. No. Wait, you pushed I her back. Her out. Grin threw a rocket at her head. Yeah, I rocked her in the head like David versus Goliath. Yeah. And then, Bam. and then he healed her once with a rock, which knocked her out, and then healed her back up. Yep. Yeah, Grin's it was a good roll, though. <laughs> it was a good roll. <laughs> it's probably my best healing rock roll. Right, because the ooze killed me, and then he, I came, got back out, and then he threw a rock at me to heal me, but it killed me first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. yeah. She was down three times. Yeah. So then I think we. I we long rested inside the magical campsite bubble, but there are all kinds of like mystical beings walking around the whole time watching us. It was real creepy. So we decided to uh, leave once the bubble protection was up, but we kind of timed it so we wouldn't run into any of the baddies. And then we went to the next level, and the next level was like a. It was the. Um, what do you call it? Hydroponics, yeah. So it was just filled with plants, overgrown all over the place, and we met this weird pixie lady. Star child. Star so child. Good. She's nice. She's a good guy. But she told us about people up upstairs that are bad. The mentor. Yep, God. She had tried like the castle was in the Feywild for a hot second, which is when she oh, jumped on because she heard the plants right. crying. She was telling us about her boyfriend Blightwing. No, Did they you? were no. Teen Titans? No. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Teen um, Titans! <laughs> and then, uh, so the mentor was upstairs, and he's bad, and has many legs, and is controlling people in here. What do you mean by many legs? I don't know. She said he has many legs. Yeah. <laughs> said he was terrifying and had many legs, and she's yep. protecting the plants from this mentor. Yeah, also, okay. all of so the rooms that we've been to so far, she's been protecting. Yeah. So, apparently everything past this room is even shittier. Yeah, yep. so she's, yeah. she's kind of been the guardian of all the other levels. <laughs> That's good. That's um, our minds, like, five times, so... Did you tell okay. us anybody about the chunk people? Or the chunks? Uh, yeah, she told you that people that died here became, like walking corpses and came back to life and that's right same thing that Keith told us. yeah great so she confirmed that uh and it's oh, also okay. important because melandra is also from the fey wild so they're they they share that i don't know if there's any more connection than that she it's like also... it's like when somebody says i'm from chicago and then the other person says i'm also from chicago <laughs> <laughs> yeah she uh, up there. Stop people. She mentioned the uh, the crab people, the people that worship crabs. Crab I think. people. Oh, that's right. Crab sure. people have a crab boat, which is why you guys were heading to the workshop where we left right. off to find the giant which is crab. Boat. Seven on the map. Yeah, there's possible there's a giant crab boat. Right. And map? she recently map saw map. three people. Oh, there's, no, there's not on this map. map. Oh, you know what? You can't. They're see not on the map because you're not on the map. There. Now you can see it. Karimus. Yeah. yeah he, she did yeah. see three people, which we're assuming are Bran, Senga, and Ostra. Yeah, the other wizards. Is... Headley, Headley, Hedy said two of them were thrown overboard in the storm. Smiles and her bonds. Done yep. for. Okay. Dead. So there were six people total. And two went overboard. We have one, three. Apparently, left. none of these wizards know how to swim. <laughs> Buzzing. Was it a crew of six eight? I am pretty confident. <laughs> Double checking my notes. Fishmaz, Purbon, Headley, Brown, Senga, Astara. Sounded like six. So our, our goal is to get out of the castle or to stop what's going on? Uh, you guys were sent to try to find her crew, which is those six people. Oh, yeah. People. Right, right, right. We need to find yeah, the people. Six people, sorry. And they're probably upstairs with all the creepy shit. We, we also, had, we also had, had a brief talk about we're not sure, like, this is obviously like a bad place and this mentor sounds like a bad dude and like he's here now but they've also been if they dancing did. around the planes for a while so we were we had a little discussion i don't think we landed on a solution yet but 
the fact that if we don't deal with it, then we're all kind of just passing the problem on to whoever gets the castle next. Yeah. Mm. That's the buck. Yeah. But also, we don't want to be on the castle when it plane shifts. Plane shifts, yeah. We, we don't have to be able to buck. shift back. I don't think we actually reached a consensus on that, but we were all like, yeah, we probably shouldn't do that. But... I mean, all right. You know. That was good. <laughs> so we were heading to the workshop, which was yep. section seven? Yep. Yeah, number seven. Okay. Um, and if that's where we're heading, I'd like to do so sneakily. All right, you can what you can lead the way with a stealth check. First rule of the night. Hold on, I'm gonna change the color a little bit. Athers, guide you. Oh yes, please, please guide me. Guide me so good. Um, and just a, um, a reminder, you guys can check any room along the way. It's it's a massive uh, castle. Uh, check a room. So you want to check a room on the way? Nice. Yeah. First two of the night. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that a, got I mean, that a 15. A 15 is not bad. That is not bad. Thanks, thanks for that. Plus nine and that guidance. Yeah, Jesus. Okay, um, so Green, you start to kind of sleep down the hallway and the same luminescent uh, lanterns kind of illuminate the dark and dingy hallways. Um, also, see... check it for traps. Sorry. Oh, uh, roll of perception. Uh, Savathra's uh, sees a uh, room nearby. Wow. All right, let's get okay, those good. out of the way. Uh, <laughs> sees a room nearby, and you don't you don't even see or hear him, but he kind of creaks it open. Um, Savathrus, roll a uh, perception. I was like, what the hell is that? Hit F1. Okay. All right. Hot rolls. Hot rolls. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't open it. Hot. Stop. Oh, I didn't make a freaking chart for it, you son of a bitch. No, 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 no. Roll a D100. Shit, where is it? Ancient red dragon. Oh, no. uh, Last week's music wasn't this wasn't this happy. I'm Not pretty too. sure it's because you guys are back. Yeah, this is the, the bards are just playing a, a song in the background. Um, hey, this is kind of a uh, tense situation. Do you think you can? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Good to relieve the tension. Trying to. Uh, try to tune. Uh, Andy, roll a d20. Oh, still music. As I, as sorry. I put my hair up. <laughs> All right, Piggy, I'm going to go. Oh, oh yeah. Good. Yeah. Two, Three, two, two, one, <laughs> five, four. Get those out of the way. <laughs> Only uphill from here. It's hot. Yeah, up here. there we oh, go. Boy. <laughs> I got a five or four. Oh, you got a four. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um, so looking around the room, um, it seems to just be um, a servant's quarters uh, with just kind of some odds and end cups. Um, they don't seem to be in too good at disrepair. Uh, and after spending about 10 minutes, you realize there's really nothing left in this room that, that is even worthwhile of, of spending your time. Um, unfortunately, the only thing you seem to find is uh, you've wasted 10 minutes along your search. You want, to, no more you want to push your luck and look for another room on the way to the let's horror shop? Yeah, let's do it. I can't open the door. Oh, All we right. can only look for more doors after we find the heap or try the rest of them, too. That's true. I already uh, said that. Rachel, we're Are we in that time for a I mean, there's a big eight or many legged guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I haven't been saying time for stuff. any reason, so it's fine. All right, it's closer. Yeah, getting there. Okay. Getting there. All right, all right. See, uh, so right beside the uh, servants' yeah. quarters, you just kick open a room, um, and you kind of look around, um, maybe a little aggressively. You kind of start knocking some things off the shelf. Um, nothing's really kind of sticking out at you, except for um, you kind of turn over um, what looks to be just like a, a dingy box, discolored, uh, and you kind of toss it. 
uh, and you hear it kind of like rattle as you go to grab it, and then you crack it open and you find... Uh, five pieces of jewelry, all worth 25 gold each. Um, Put it back in the box, I close the box, and I throw the box at Grin. Oh! I'm gonna try to catch it. Oh, please do. Um, I black and black. Oh, I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> you do one of those, like, uh, uh, but you eventually catch it. I'll open it up. Yeah, you find uh, five pieces of 25 gold uh, each jewelry. Uh, some God damn! Some gold, some silver. Uh, you see one ring that's platinum. Can you Archie. throw it in the party sheet? You know, I could, um, but I'd have to kill you. I would like to make a new thing. Jewelry. That's probably right. I think, this is, my, I think this is my favorite thing that you've thrown at me. Five. No, not eight. I said Pick up whatever like the dirtiest, grossest thing I can see in the room is, and I throw it at him. Ah, crap! crap. <laughs> Literal crap! <laughs> Yeah, it's it's literal crap. Oh. It's also you think maybe piece of a hunk of someone or something. Yeah, You're not sure. Ah, where do you keep finding these chunks? <laughs> it's Chunk Castle. Grin love chunk. Grin love chunk. <laughs> hey, you guys. Yeah, then I'm content to just go to the workshop. Yeah. All right. So yeah. you guys. Uh, between walking down the hallway and just kind of checking the couple rooms you did, it, you, it takes you about 30 minutes, but you eventually find your way to uh, uh, the end of a bleak hallway uh, that kind of opens up to a series of different doors, uh, but you find one larger door that's uh, labeled uh, the workshop uh, with an ash-covered kind of door. It's dingy uh, and gray. The door is partly open. Um, Grinny, you still kind of hel helming the expedition? Yep. All right. I'm taking point with my, what, 15. So oh. you kind of grab the door and it starts to, and you kind of stop it for a moment, but the, the sound was definitely heard. Uh, and then you quietly open the rest of the door the, the, the rest of the way. Um, inside, you can quickly see that there are workbenches, uh, several forges that are no longer lit. Um, strike that, there's one forge that's lit. Um, there's some tools kind of scattered around the walls, um, and there is a powerful thumping reverberating through the floors of the area uh, that you are hearing. The hell's that thumping? <laughs> hmm. Sounds like a drum. Now look at some of the tools. Yeah, roll a perception check. Mm -hmm. I, I was planning it all before you walked away, Grin, giving you guidance again. Oh, wow, thanks. I, I just say, uh, Samantha just pats you on the shoulder and says, be, be careful, and eyes shut. 16. Uh, 16, I'm sorry, you were looking around at the tools? Yep. Okay. Um, good night, bud. All right. I guess we're done. <laughs> um, sorry, my son came upstairs screaming about a Nintendo Switch. I don't know what happened. Um, Dead. Right. Never know. It's pretty much like Nintendo 64. <laughs> um, so, uh, so you can look around, and there's some some dungy looking tools. Uh, what looks to be like blacksmith um, billows with some hand tools. Um, and you kind of go to grab one of the big pairs of pliers kind of off the wall, and a um, a man pops out uh, man. from behind. <laughs> Did you say a man? A man, yeah. A man! Uh, ah! He's a man the uh, he's, he's kind of, um, there's a big, uh, like, workshop table, and okay. he pops up from behind it, and he goes, shh! Shh. Uh, what he's, the hell? He's big. <laughs> shush, shush. He's burly. Um, Does he he's... have like a weird amount of eyes and teeth, or is he? Like, no, no. Okay. He's, man, he's man. a muscular, like unusually muscular man. Um, 
you can even see like the veins that he's not flexing kind of popping out of his arms uh his shirt's unbuttoned uh his pants seem to be like the wrong size um ripped he's bald-headed uh but has a wife tuft around his ears um how many legs does he have how many what how many, How many legs? legs? Uh, yeah. Two, just two. How many legs? Say? Okay. Two. two. I said two. Um, <laughs> but he goes, shh. You got it. You got to be quiet. What the Why hell? No, shh. Who the hell are you? Were you hiding under there the He's whole time? Hear you? Yeah. No. Who? Shh. Who? I got lost. Found my way here. Just there's a guy. Shh. Are you Ishmaz or Perban? No, I'm Bron. <laughs> I thought Bron was a dwarf. Um, yeah. yeah. That's what a dwarf sounds like. <laughs> but you're tall and burly. I forgot. He actually, he kind of sounds like this. Um, you're very tall for a dwarf. I'm tall for my age. Oh. So, why? We should, this isn't important. What's important is we need to be quiet. Insight check. All right, make an insight. Yeah, insight. This guy yeah. actually, Bron, his story isn't matching up with my <laughs> notes. Bron, me. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it it definitely does. Um, I I don't. I apparently didn't read that he was a dwarf last time. <laughs> does he just check the DM? Our... <laughs> he switches. He shrinks before our eyes. He's uh, really tall dwarf. Do you yes, play this basketball? Tall, burly man he shrinks down. One of those just to be a dwarf. Over the table. Oh, Getting on a crate, we just didn't know it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, he jumps down. In fact, he's like, just shh, and he crawls up over the table and then jumps down, and he's like, waist level. He's looking at you in the eyes. And as the legs are just half as long. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, it's still startling. Actually, he'd be a little taller than me. Unless yeah. he's also two and a half feet. Look, I don't know what we're doing here, but I just. Shh. So don't you're Brad, so where's, uh,. Rinkus and Dinkus and what are the names again, Savvy? Sengir and Ostara. Yeah, where are those guys? Um, yeah, um, we were in the sewers. Some people chose chunks. Some people chose ice. And then I want to chose here. ice. Ah, I chose that. chunks. Good choice. Good you choice. chose chunks too. Um, but look, How could we, you not? we gotta be, we gotta be quiet, cause I don't know where he's at. But when he shows up, it's not going to be good. Does he, he have talking the, You talking about that menti guy with the legs? No, no, no. This is uh, I think he may have been the blacksmith. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh. You're not the blacksmith? These aren't your tools? Wait, no. You're Bron. I'm not from here. Um, <laughs> and with that, the door uh, behind you guys that I totally meant to tell you um, slams open. Ah, shit. Massive, burly man. Um, ah, so here's the burly man. <laughs> uh, he's got pockmarks all over his skin, and he has a metallic head oh, um, that looks like corrupted and almost like it's like bleeding through the actual skin. Uh, he doesn't look good in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and he like creepy, scary movie like doo -doo 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 -doo, real fast, and then uh, I charge you. We is he? Attack? Yeah, he might be. Can we, uh, we tell? So, uh, Jacques, uh, you yeah. see him like creepy doll, and just one nice hand swings at you. Oh nope! I gotta roll for damage first. I mean attack. I don't know why I have That's a few disadvantage, damage. right? Ah, uh, whoops. Why does he have advantage? Oh, I am restrained. Still. Oh, well, you see, told you I was messing with stuff. <laughs> All right, let me, let me reroll. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right, so um, as Bron is trying to warn you to be quiet, uh, he slams the door with a grunt and walks over and just palms you with this massive fist. Um, okay, okay. You take you take five points of bludgeoning damage as he just backhands you. Uh, and as you're starting to come to terms with it, his left hand comes through and hooks you again. Yeah, hook shot. Oh, no. 
Why are you beating up our friend? <laughs> My beautiful face! My beautiful face! <laughs> <laughs> My moustache! <laughs> Not the money maker. Okay, uh, and everyone roll initiative. I Do I still have initi Heavier. advantage on initiative? Because it says I do. It has I think you do shit. Close. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure you do. Okay, I'm gonna oh, roll it so you can take it off of there. Double digits. I got shit. Twenty. You with advantage. I need a random map. Random map. Sweet. You no longer have advantage on initiative, Grin. Yeah. It's gone. I didn't use it creepier. well, I apologize. Okay, we're just we're just gonna use this. Random battle maps. All right, let's get a little. Bloop. 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 How do you know my noises? Uh, if you ever need to, Abe, in the party sheet, there's the order page. What? Which you can always use as a makeshift battle map. You son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever need to. Yeah, it's just like a, a blank grid, basically. I will remember this. Uh, well, I tried to zoom out on that order or the marching order. For yeah. the and it got real weird. Infinity. Infinity. <laughs> it's like solitaire. Yeah. NPC. <laughs> Windows yeah. XP, uh, <laughs> saving uh, screen savers. Yeah. Uh, let's go with this guy. Hopefully he's not too... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that can be Braun. Okay. All right. Doing it live. Doing it live. Dwarf guard. Our, our goal Braun. is to not let Braun die, but I mean, we have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so I guess it would kill be more him. like We're gonna have to kill that. Him. There we go. We still have Headley with us, don't we? Yes, you yes, do. do. Shit. Is that the guy from Blazing Saddles? <laughs> Headley Lamar. Um, we could have left him behind with uh, with Starshot, couldn't we? I mean, you could have. Uh, no, I don't okay think, think we explicitly did. did. I don't remember anybody saying that we were going to. But I don't think we did, but that would have been smart in hindsight. We, we <laughs> could retcon it if Abe will let us. I mean, if you feel <laughs> it, he is safer there. With a powerful fey creature, I think it's probably safe. Yeah, I mean, if we're trying to escape. Like, you like, know, know, we may not have come planned on coming back. She's guarding everything. She's guarding, That's guarding true. That's true. Well. We were planning on getting the boat. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, from the crab people. All right, All right. so. I think it is a giant crab, the boat. but but it's piloted by crab people too. So we're just gonna do a so dwarf. We that worship crabs. Oh, oh, they're just crab people, like like you can be a but cat she, person or a she dog. talked about they had a like there's some kind of apparatus. Like crabs. <laughs> were they crab people? I prefer crab. Or were there people who worship crabs? They worshipped a crab. Worshipped mechanical uh, crabs, I think. I'm more of a crab person sense. myself. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of crab people. Okay, my bad. Here, we got Headley on here. I'll go check her after. Okay, there we go. So let's, uh, top of the order here. Ish new. Top of the order to you. To reload the map, it was all. Get him, Ish. Yeah, you need me to bring it up? Yeah. What do I have to do? Make the map work? So, oh, does it not work? Did I screw it up? Yeah, it's on black. Enable, disable. Here, how's that? Still don't say anything. I see my token. I see, see token. Uh, this is Try yeah. moving your token, Chris. Yeah, I can see you guys when you move, but no, yeah. I don't see anything else. Yeah, that's oh, what so I see. Not black. All right, hold on. Now? Oh, there it is. There it is. Do you there see we go. too much? You know see, what? Maybe they don't have special vision. Oh, yeah. I didn't put any lights on. So I see a craftsman. Am I supposed to be a craftsman? So, yeah, you should You should see him. Okay. Which one of us has torches? I didn't know if I was supposed to put 
Well, I told what? you they were I... eliminated, so... Oh, so there's ambient light here. Yeah. There. Ambient light's on. Boom. Oh, that's so ambient. Man. All right, hopefully... Hey, the lighting function. One, one of these days, I'll figure out what the hell I'm doing. Okay. So where is, where is Jacques? Is he right here? Uh, he would have been right... There. Where the hell did he go? I don't know. Gone. There, okay. Jacques, where did you go? He's there now. Okay, there. Oh, Everyone else come It was weird. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and then Braun and Headley. That looks like Ultra Man. Uh, nice. yeah. There it is. Okay, my bad. I'm ready. So uh, a craftsman comes out of nowhere, smacks Jacques, um, rather hardly, Headley. Head, hardly, hardly, heartily. Heartily. Head headed it. Get your head. If I do happen to die, I do have a character ready. <laughs> Alright, All right, got one loaded in the chamber. <laughs> that sounds probably good. <laughs> oh, a good I have been pulling punches. I know exactly. What I'm they wouldn't mind playing another class, so just say it. <laughs> I, said, I, love, I love my characters die because I can play a new character. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, so I'm just gonna blast the craftsman with uh, Elemental Blast. Yeah, give him Elemental Blast. Let's start off the big... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, oh, look at that blast. Him. Blasted him. He got blasted so hard. Checking myself. He's a man. Roll Dex. Alright, so let's see. Uh, the craftsman. Where's the... Actually, You're targeting Wait, yourself okay. again. I yeah, that's you. Chris, you turned okay. off your targeting computer. <laughs> All right, so it looks like attack 26 at the craftsman hit. Okay, so I got him. Yeah. Got him. So, this is. I was just be... beginning to love. I'm using my free uh, side point to amplify by one. You know, uh, like you do. And my rampage die, so that's 12 points of fire damage to the craftsman. Ba, 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 ba. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Drag this effect, which should take place on history. Okay, good. I want to make sure I understand it. Um, so the impact hits. I want to call that. Uh, the impact hits, and uh, it hits impacts, but it doesn't seem to take as much effect. Uh, it yeah. kind of almost brushes it off. But so he, he takes damage. He's resistant to fire, Rachel. Just never hits at all. Rachel has the fire swords out. Yep. <laughs> uh, that's it for my turn. I'm going to stay plate. Savathras. Okay. Um, where would my echo be at this point? Echo, echo. You can just hide. Uh, I would imagine you'd be keeping it like. At yeah. least within 30 feet, just like in a random spot. Yep. That's kind of how I always pictured you playing him. Groovy. Groovy, uh, baby. Groovy, baby, groovy. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 30 feet. For me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Bloop, <laughs> <laughs> certainly. Bloop, uh, and zoom, 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 zoom. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, flanking attack, not really. Uh, I will. Oh. As my action, could I? Try to think of how this would work. Could I? Could I like? Move Jacques away from the guy? Like. Shove him. Give him a shove. Uh, I might, my thought process is it would have to be like your action to try to move him away i mean you can do it but you're gonna have to take your action to like pick him up move him you know or even like kind of push him 
Um, no, I guess I'll just attack. Um, yeah, so I will... I will attack from the Echo's position with my Warhammer. Excellent. Swings with this guy's butt. Warhammer. Swinging his butt. butt. Oh, so close. Got him. Nice. Oh. He's swinging his butt so hard. Swing it. Um, this, you notice, hits and does the amount of damage you expect. I expected that much damage. I <laughs> 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 uh, Yeah, and I think I will use one of my Unleash Incarnations. You're giving him a carnation? Oh, that's awesome. No, I won't do that yet. That's um, real nice. Yeah, this guy goes. Yeah, he hasn't really earned it. Yeah, so I'm going to attack him with Um, Go, Jacques. I, I'll guard your back. Gotcha. That's my turn. Good. All right, Kyla, you are up. Um, I'm going to cast Cloud of Daggers. Craftsman. Such Very a signature clever. move for you now. Yep. Oh, I've got to change what I'm going to do now. I, I just picture being like finger guns. Nice! <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, I need to. I'm going to remember how to do this at some point, but I don't think. Oh, I actually <laughs> meant to make you a knife circle, but. Oh, I, found, I, I figured it out. Oh, there we go. Hey, there it oh, is. I, I did it. Wait, baby. There we go. I'm gonna just drop it right. Boom! Here. Oh, look, he's got a little <laughs> little pink circle. I can see a halo. Special halo. So let me. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. I got so excited I could draw the circle. I didn't have it. Target. And then I think. Do I drop the effect on? Uh, yeah. Drop the damage on uh, the craftsman. Okay. Does he have to I save? Just... No, not on no. Cloud of Dagger. He just fucking takes it. No, I, think I mean, like... he just takes it. That's pretty awesome. Um, hold on. So I just drop it. Uh, oop, oop, oop. You either drop it. Yeah. You either there it is. On the map or on the uh, well, combat tracker. Yeah. Ugh. Why is his stuff not working? <laughs> Um, let me make sure I'm yeah. understanding what he can do. He's a blacksmith. Of course, he's resistant to fire. Damage. Good point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I misread that? I may have misread it. Oh, my bad. He takes that full fire damage. Never mind. So, well, I'll fix that. Okay, no. So he took that fire damage. Sorry. I misread something. Alright. Alright, my bad. Yeah. So, he is not resistant to fire. My bad. Um, right. And Kyle, he takes that full amount of da uh, dagger damage. Nice. Um, are you staying put or are you moving away? Um, I'm just gonna kind of Tuck myself back here. I'm still kind of like keep an eye on what's happening. I'm going to kind of creep behind this wallish area. I'm going to so do a little hidey hole. Okay, yeah, good, just like a little good. hide. Let's pull a bit back so I'm not, you know. And then can I cast Bardic Inspiration? You can. Who are you casting? Uh, uh, who are you giving it to? Uh, uh, Melandra. Thanks. So, Boom. I'll drop on you just, to, just in case you don't want to use it. With. You can cast. Boom. Jacques, you are currently, like, face-to-face -face with this guy. So, I, I see the, the daggers there, so I don't want to move him. Because I was going to, but I was going to try. Sorry. No, no, no. I want him to stay there. So what I'm going to do is, so Jacques, he does, like, a kind of like a little Three Stooges axe. And as he's doing it, like, he like, slaps his head and is like, wah, wah. And he clasps uh, Tasia's hideous laughter on the guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to see if I can do it to him. See if I remember how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I roll save, right? 
Even with <laughs> fucking advantage. That's bullshit. Uh, <laughs> so that means uh um, creature of choice that you can see within me. Sees everything. It's hilariously funny and falls into bits of laughter in this spell. The target must succeed. Uh at the end of its turn of each or each time it takes damage the target can make another wisdom saving throw <sighs> but at advantage if it gets hit motherfucker so you you, like you hear uh does anyone speak deep speech um, i don't i don't nope. think so but just in case <gasps> you can just fucking do this what I fucking do do you? Okay, yeah. if you hear him say something like, That was funny! <laughs> uh, and he just starts to laugh incoherently and falls fucking prone on the floor. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, go. Oh, I'm oh. out of here! <laughs> and I forget, so he can't do... Yes, he's just, He can't he's do just, anything he's until he's hit, basically. Yeah, until... Right. Well, at well, the end of his turn, he can try to get out of it. Gotcha. Do you even take it. reactions? No, he's like incapacitated on the ground. Oh, so is that the other effect that he gets? I'm pretty sure. Let me look. Yeah, it says prone, incapacitated, unable to stand oh, up. Jesus. Yeah. Save on okay. the end of roll and damn it. That's what the. Yeah, the but if he does says. take. But he does, if he does take damage, he gets a advantage. Well, he already has it. So no. Okay, there we go. I added all the right things. Uh, Incapacity means no actions or reactions. Yep. That's cool. That's cool. I love. I love you guys. You guys are get great. Out of there. Welcome back to the party, guys. It's cool. It's great. Happy to be here. Then I will. Um. I think. I think I'm good. I'm gonna save the inspiration for later. Just in nice. Case. Uh, Andy, I, I don't know if you heard, but I misread one of his things. He did take that full fire damage. Mm. So, he, he didn't seem to be immune or resistant. Alright. I wasn't about to tell Rachel. <laughs> well, that explains why she came back and I was like, hey, he's not immune to fire. And then she looked at me real puzzled. So, alright, Melanda, you're up. Did I miss anything important, like, other than he's not vulnerable to fire? I mean, he's laughing fire? on the floor right now. Okay, but nothing like... <laughs> Is no. prone, which means you have advantage. Right. I mean, as far as, like, do we learn anything about him that I need to know about? He hurt Jax a lot. He's got a metallic head Why and a humanoid body. Why can't I? My map's all. Two feet. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, I am going to... So the daggers are smaller than him, right? Yeah, they're... you only see, like, points of them poking out, but they're, like, within his ribcage. Because he's, oh, he's he is a massive creature. Okay, so I'm gonna move oh, my. I mean, technically, he's huge. He's large. I'm gonna move my thirty feet. Good. Good. Almost slash slash slash. So at every time he takes damage, he gets to reroll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he won't stand up until his turn, regardless. No, so that, but he may yeah. stop being incapacitated. So right, okay. Uh, I am currently summer. Yeah, okay. Slash. <laughs> Andy, I just saw your comment. <laughs> uh, you should have advantage on that. Yeah, you should have advantage, right? Because he's yeah. prone. I don't know why it didn't do it, but did I not drop he, prone on him? He is incapacitated, but not prone. That son of a bitch! I feel like I dropped it on someone then. So make sure no one has prone. <laughs> So the other one would have been a 19, so that would have hit. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Alright, good. There's all right. Oh. Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> double one damage. Oh, your fire damage went up. Yeah. That's awesome. I forgot to do yes. that. I was like, why am I giving myself a d6 damage? I'm like, oh, because I'm supposed to also have a d6 of fire damage. Uh, slash number two! Woo! Nice. Nice. I don't like what's happening here. Ah, oh, come on. I like that, though. This is good. <laughs> Both section. Are both your swords fiery? Yeah. Nice. Fire damage. Yeah, she sliced them both. That's right. Thing this morning. When everyone's like, oh, maybe we should not fight everything. She was like, slice, slice, everything's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's so he's, he's a roll every hit, right? There you go, you son of a bitch. All right, so he's still prone, but he's not incapacitated. 
Okay. Oh, he has beat it too. My thing's 16 now, I think. Dang. All right. Should I do something silly and potentially dangerous, or should I yeah. do something helpful? <laughs> Abe, how many cards are in this deck? <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, it deck of many? No, it's not a deck of many things. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Uh, I love you so much. Um, there is um, ten cards. Okay. I uh, Grin pulls out a deck of cards and goes, "Oh, Puff, I hope you didn't fuck me over here." <laughs> and he pulls out a card. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so Grin, you you yeah. pull a card, um, and as it kind of pulls up in front of you. Uh, you see a card that has a small child um, with a, you assume to be a motherly figure beside it. Very like Muppet Babies-esque, where it's like a baby side. and then legs. Right, legs, yeah. Um, the baby seems to be crying incoherently, and as you continue your sentence, what everyone else hears is, Ah, oh, Puff, I hope you didn't... I'm gonna and assume I'll... that's a high-pitched cry. Yeah, for the next hour, you're you're gonna speak uh, in cries of a baby. So, <laughs> so there you go. But that card goes and disappears. It did say it was a deck of certain things, and that's certainly a thing. Was that? What is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. And then I'm gonna go over. It's very helpful. Uh, the most lethal baby we've ever. Green, uh, Green, just so you know, um, you, if I don't think you can cast spells, but if you could, you can't for the next hour. Okay. Wow. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't you, just, you communicate all your speech through crying whales and shrieks. Oh, okay. Uh, but you don't hear it. You're just talking normally, so just FYI. For the next hour? For the next hour, yeah. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> 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 Well, I know this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he looks really pissed off. Yeah. Just running to the corner as he's crying like a child. <laughs> Should we comfort him? <laughs> I. Did you do anything it. else there, Grit? I can't. That was an action, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, and you moved, so. No, you have the coming action to dash, so. No, that's it all for right, me. All right. So, Bron. Should have done helpful. <laughs> I mean, it could have. There's, there could be some good I things know. in that box of certain things. Uh, Bron's like, whoa, what's up with that guy? Um, and he's just going to back the fuck up. <laughs> Wait, the uh, uh, blacksmith or me? <laughs> <laughs> no, both. He was like, I don't okay. know what's happening. This is weird. Uh, so the top of the turn, the craftsman takes four oh. fire damage. Not he happy about that. The knife damage, too. Roll your knife. <laughs> the dagger damage. Dagger. Damn. Nice. Um, Melander, you attacked two or three times. Three times. Right. Slash, slash, slash. And Nishnu, you hit two, right? Uh, I hit him once. Okay. Um, I okay. hit him. I'll go make sure I remember. Okay, um, so he is going to... You see his form kind of shimmer for a moment, and his uh, metallic head kind of vibrates for a moment, and then that same metallicness kind of covers his body. Um, his AC is now increased by two as he casts haste on himself. Uh, and then he is going to attack a land... God so damn it, dude, up. stand the fuck up! And then he decided to stand up. There we go. That's good. Uh, he hit, though. Uh, so he's gonna smash one giant club-like hand down on top of you, dealing six damage. Reaction. I don't like what you're saying. <laughs> you said I time respect it. Because he attacks my friend. Stop it. Hey, uh, you yeah, paid attention to me yet? Hey, hey, I'm over here. Damn. I don't like that. Um, I just have a reaction. <laughs> I want to be. Are you attacking too? 
I cast Hellish Rebuke on him as no, a reaction. No! Stop it! Yeah, That's... rebuke him. Hey, you're so rebuked. Give him the oh, buke. Oh. I think it's like like half, half, yeah. It's hellish. Uh, yeah, she points her finger at him, and he is surrounded by hellish flames. What did she say? Um, she says something. You only know what it is if you speak. Try me. Um, Sylvan. Nope. Oh. <laughs> uh. No, she's only for soul. Uh. I know normal languages like deep speech. <laughs> so he should. Everyone knows deep speech. Half of that. Squeak speak. Yeah, it, he took half on Nice. Okay. Um, his form's still shimmering. He is going to take a bonus action because he doesn't like how many times he get hit, and he teleports over oh, here. Fucker. And then he is going to try to beat Ishnu twice. No. Ishnu. I said he's going to try. Okay, he's he's gonna he's gonna do one more attack. Oh my it's god. Not. Hey. <laughs> and that's apparently the end of his turn. Headley's, um, oh, Headley's a nerd. Headley's not. Mm -mm. What level did I just make Headley? Oh, she's not that good. Okay, Headley is just gonna look a little panicked. Um, and she is gonna magic missile him. Wait, Headley's a she. Yeah, I was going to say, Headley's a sheep. Oh, sorry. Headley's a man. Headley's a sheep? I totally remembered that. Um, yeah. All right. And then she's going to back the fuck off. Wait, magic missiles? Three missiles? I'm going by... Yeah, three. Right. Okay. Okay, there we go. And she backs... He Eight? backs the hell away. All right. Um... That's my lair actions. I don't have any going on right now. Ishnu, you're up. The craftsman is right behind you. Um, yeah. What are you going to do? So Ishnu turns around. He spins around to face the craftsman. Oh. Yeah, closes his eyes and goes, goes like this. And uh, craftsman is going to have to <laughs> make a charisma save as his mind is psychically assaulted. Yeah, solve that mind. Why are you doing that? I don't like it. Failure. Mine is five? He's not it's very charisma. Sucks, bro. <laughs> He's not fair. very charisma. That was my answer to that. He's, He's not, not very charisma. <laughs> not very charisma. He's going to take 14 points of psychic damage. Damn. I like that. And, oh, that's right. Uh, I gain temporary hit points equal to half the amount of psychic damage dealt. Seven times, nice. and I can, I just spend two side points to cast this, and I regain. Nice. So that's it. I will not move. Damn. Not seven, seven. Uh, that's it for my turn. All right, yeah. Savathrus, you're up. Wait, what? I am going to follow. Uh, actually, I'm going to... Uh, Sarathus quickly looks between the two halflings that are very spread out. No, I can't guard both of them, but... I'm gonna post up here next to... Calais. Boom. Boom. And... And I will use a bonus action to summon a new shadow 15 feet away from me. You're right. Yeah. Nope. Bing! And then as my action, I will attack from my echo space. Stop it. This class is so fucking cool. This class is on fire. Is this is this from one of the books or is this the homebrew class? This is, no, this is the wild mount wild. fighter subclass. That's cool. Uh, that misses. He has haste up. Haste up. Sorry. You you kind of careen into it, and when you think it hits, it uh, shimmers off of his new metallic-like skin. Okay. Um, 
that yeah, is, is my turn. I love it. All right, Kyle, you up. All right, I think I'm going to cast, uh, I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> so it's, uh... Should I have a plug like, right there? Thanks. I will allow it. And Wow, that was stuck on 20 for a real long time. Nice. <laughs> really, he's not very wise. Uh -huh. 2d4 this time. Nope. Oh, yeah, 2d4. So that's exciting. All right, and I'm going to be like, you look like the Tin Man, but not as cool. And then just yeah. Like, yeah. No. He looks He looks a little sad. <laughs> yeah. Six points. Full right. of daggers. And then he, and then uh, the next attack has advantage? Is that what it is? I forget. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Right? Oh, that's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sure. You... I was just hoping you <laughs> were gonna say yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the next attack is disadvantage. Uh, are you are you staying there? Or are you running around the corner? I'm probably gonna run around this corner. <laughs> I'm tiny, and uh, I only have 28. Put you there. Okay. There we are. Yep. All right, y'all guys. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna shoot him with a bow for right now. Yeah, go with your new bow. Can do magic. Damn. <laughs> That's how it should go. Does my face change at all when I make these nope. wham noises? Or nope. Just, you you talk normally. I talk and normally, but you just sound wham, normal comes out. to yourself. Right. Right. That's what I wanted to do on my turn. Fire and air at it. I'm gonna cry too. Okay. It's okay. Let it all out. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that hits. Yeah, get him. Shoot him! Yeah! yeah oh, that that is. Is. Uh, so, when the bolt hits, it sinks in slightly. Um, perhaps it's resistant to things that aren't magical. Mm. Oh, I understand why you're crying, Grin. <laughs> and, I'm gonna, and I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'll inspire... I'll inspire Grin. All right. Crying, <laughs> crying time's over. It's time to fight, my friend. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so you have... It's almost shrill at this point. So it's one d eight whenever you want to use it. All right. Oh. Nice. Yeah. All right. Sweet. You staying put? You moving? Uh. Step back. Step back. Get back. Oh shit, so this short bow arrow did nothing. Um I'm pretty sure it did not. Yeah. Are your swords matching? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I have plus one scimitars. Nice to meet you. Slash the slash. Yeah, you guys went you know, shopping. Right. Mm -hmm. Melinda, are you just slashing the air or are you moving first? Oh, okay. It's over there. I'm gonna like, get you. Cloud of daggers. Yeah, attack the daggers. Okay. Put the daggers. Go. You took those cloud of daggers on. Then I attack Kylie for putting the daggers there <laughs> with inspiration. I don't know. Yeah, I run over. I charge him. Real pissed that he teleported away. I'm gonna slash him extra hard. Mm. Get him. Stop it. Mm. Uh, yeah, that hits. Even with haste, that hits. That's better. No! Yeah. Mm. Flash. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, that hits. Fire! Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Flash! Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep, that hits too. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I kill her once with a ghost, and that is That's all downhill. Mm. Wow. Yeah. That was... Whew, That's 20, awesome. She just, like, runs across the room shrieking and, like, spins in circles of fire flying everywhere. 41 points of damage on the turn. That was, that was good. So pretty. Jesus. Yes. So pretty. Victorious, victorious. So pretty. Um, I'm fighting. His, what a show. His glimmering armor is kind of pulsating now uh, in... Parts you see like a Ew. weakness starting to build. So he's looking a little, looking a little hurt. I'm gonna aim right for that weakness. Um, 
And uh, can you take the advantage uh, initiative off effect off me before I forget? Uh, yes. Advent. Okay. There you go. And I'm going to attack him with advantage for steady aim. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do a minus five for my sharpshooter. No, no, no. And here we go. I'm going to use an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That, oh, that just misses. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> he still has haste. Sorry. <laughs> but, like, but it looked good. Because there's a moment where, like, Robin Hood, it, the bolt goes kind of crooked, and you, like, reload real quick and shoot again, and it projects back down, and then it just careens off his armor. Yeah, that's it for me. Uh, Bronze like, whoa, hey, um, okay, and he's gonna run backwards, cause he's dumb. Um, come here, Crossman. Wow. Okay. Well, he used his reaction. Uh, top of the turn. He still has that. He's going to roll this for no reason. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you see his armor. Uh, it's still glowing, but his muscles start to ripple slightly more. Um, and he is going to just start wailing on Melandra. Not that many times. What just happened? He what? slammed yeah. everyone. Everyone just got turned his turned turned. <laughs> Wow, what just happened? How is he targeting that many people? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, let's let's just try this again. All That's right, cool because he missed me. Let's just let's just Did he really miss the first attack? Well, yeah, yeah, that's right. Alright, so then the second one would have hit, and then he's gonna hit you a third time. Okay. So he hits you critical hit. Whoa. This is the critical. Oh. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Oh. That was rebuke. Okay. Yep. <laughs> you remember that time that Abe, Abe knocked you out three times in one night? He just hates Melandra. Okay. All right. Yeah, so yeah. Six points. Oh, okay. That was just his save. Oh, that's wow. Nice. Here, oh, she's real hurt. Super pissed. She like ah, screams, and her fire hair like crackles and just goes straight up in the air. And she like puts her points her swords at him, and fire leaps off her swords and like goes around his face. As she's bleeding profusely from whatever he hit her with. Oh shit, you got hit again. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was the second hit. I get, uh, there's a third hit still. You might still be up. The first hit miss. Nope, nope. Oh, yeah, he only hit twice. Um, and then time. He, <laughs> <laughs> he is then gonna teleport the fuck away. Uh, end of his turn, that shiny like armor starts to fade. Um, and he is. That's good for us. Moving to there. Yeah, he's, he's looking fucking hurt. Um, Headley the lady uh, is going to run up to Melandra. That's going to be her turn. But she is a lady. Yeah, I think so, right? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> she is now. We need a judge. Um, she is a man. They... All right, hold on. Headley is a male human. I'm just going to copy-paste the thing you copy-pasted to me. Boom. I mean, narratively, it really does not matter. No, it matters, probably. There we go. It's all yeah. about. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Okay, Ishnu, you're up. All right, so Ishnu's going to chase after the... And he's looking rough. Excuse me, I burped. And, uh, he says, not so fast. And he closes his eyes and he's going to do the similar blast. Last time. So that was pretty good. Get him. Mission new blast him. Oh, shit. What just happened? No, I got you again. I mean, he failed. Definitely failed. Yes, he failed. So, <laughs> all right. Whoa, all the damage. 
Cool. So, uh, what, is, uh, what is ha I mean, you killed him, even on the first one. Okay. Are you somehow targeting him twice? <laughs> Good time. Maybe? I mean, that would be impressive. No, it doesn't look like it. I untargeted him. So, if it's a little button you're clicking, you only have to click the little button once. Oh, okay. That must, yeah, I double clicked. I mean, but you, you still hit him and killed him on the first one. He only had 15 hit points left. Uh, so, Ishnu, what's it look like as, you, as he's running away from you? Um, so, Ishnu kind of, like, closes his eyes again and reaches out with his mind. And then um, the craftsman just kind of, like, clutches his head and screams as a psychic pain assaults him. And he just kind of falls over. Just, like, thud. It's <laughs> a, a jiggle sensation. Um, yeah. Thor rumbles a little bit. Um, and that would end combat. So that was the guy you were scared of? He wasn't so bad. I'm Granted, I didn't do much. I'm running straight to Malandra. I'm running over to Malandra, too. I'm going to cast um, healing, healing word on I, Malandra. I oh, hey, cast. guys, I got this rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to... I'll cast uh, Cure Wounds at... Oh, wow, okay. You, you got it. it. You got Wah. it. I would do a third level. Rin, uh, I understand you're a jokester, but why are you <laughs> crying like a baby? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I... I the ledge is down. I don't know if this is really the, the best time. So... Best time for what? I'm just as worried Wah. about her as everybody else is. Wah, wah. Wah. <laughs> Does anybody else understand its joke? I'm just gonna cast. Uh, Savatris, you you're uh, life, so you know like weird jokes. So it's you like know a joke. Why it's a joke. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm just gonna be confused about the baby talk and cast him dancing <laughs> life and form it into like a little body so it dances next to him because I'm like I don't know what to do with this. What? 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 what are the lights for? I don't get it. <laughs> I mean, the <laughs> Cure wounds at third level, so Melandra gets uh, 14, 18 hit points. Oh. Um, I would like to try to connect to Grin with my with my telepathy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See if that works, and I will in 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 your mind, Grin. Run to the restroom real fast. I will say you are speaking like an infant. No, you are acting like an infant. That's what All I right, said. All right, now that's just rude. I mean, I'm a little guy. I got a little voice. I get it, but this hardly seems the time to be all picking on old Grin here. So Why are you in my head, you're standing right over there. So this is important. So uh, telekinesis, you speak through a mind, correct? Yeah. Yeah. You just hear a shrill baby crying back at you. <laughs> it's very long. It's like a dissertation. Um, it's different, you know level variants, but yeah, it's a shrill infant cry. And then another thing. I thought I told you to ask permission. <laughs> Anytime you try to get into my head. Wah, 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 wah. By the way, I misinterpreted this ability. I can speak tele te telepath telepathically to anyone within 10 feet times my level. Oh. But I can only give one person the ability to speak back to me, so I can always talk to people within 50 feet of me. Uh, that's pretty badass. Wah, 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 wah. I've been near that more. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I sound like an infant. You sound like an infant. Learn <laughs> some frickin' manners, I'll tell you what. You, even even if you Do you have the mind of an infant now? This is still in your, your brain. <laughs> that's it. I'm gonna throw down my... my uh, <laughs> Cross my hair and I'm gonna put my fists up. <laughs> say it again. Oh. Say I'm a say I'm an infant one more time. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Absurd. No, should I rock him? I say out loud. Maybe, yes. Uh, Maybe that will soothe him. Uh, that's it. That's it. Papoose. Papoose. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to punch. Savathros <laughs> half-heartedly, but <laughs> like, that's what right. you get. R roll your strength check. I think. This is what you get. As you put your hand on my forehead, I'm just like... <laughs> you punch my thigh and it's so rock hard. Oh, wow. <laughs> it it appears to be throwing a tantrum much like a, <laughs> an infant would. Yes, I noticed that. Perhaps this is some sort of mind control from the mentor? 
What is this deck of cards that you used, Prin? Right yeah. before you started speaking like an infant, or acting like an infant. <laughs> well, I'm gonna stop. No. What? My cards? Oh, you mean these things? I'm gonna pull out. Uh, thing... <laughs> what are you wearing? Pull, <laughs> pull out the deck of cards. I go, yeah, Puffy gave me these. A deck wah. of certain things, he called wah, them. Wah, wah. Supposed to help me if I, uh, wah. when I pull from them, you know? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Wee. Do you ask if anyone have a binky? Do you have a binky? <laughs> no, don't you start. Don't you start. <laughs> <laughs> we have lots of jewelry. Maybe there's a ring he could suck on. We could try. Oh, my God. Maybe that'll calm him down. Uh, I mean, you do, really? You do see is this the time to be out. picking on me? <laughs> uh, it's, it's a wooden box with, like, words scribbled into the top, like, scratched. It's just a little box. Vishnu uh, pulls out some travel rations and he holds one out to grin. Uh, perhaps you need some food? <laughs> well, I am feeling a little bit hungry. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I go over and just grab some out. <laughs> but still, that was uncalled for, Savvy. The last <laughs> thing, the thing I can tell, I can tell you're very upset. I have a good intuition of these things. Uh, yeah. The last thing I was able to understand until you started acting like an infant was... <laughs> <laughs> I listen, listen. Everybody was, misses once in, a, once in a time. So it's like... Excuse me. Oh. oh, okay, yeah. Oh, sorry. The grown-up are talking, apparently. <laughs> Maybe some right. milk? I just kind of grumble and stand there like I I'm getting injured. I hope you didn't screw me, Puff a lump. I think that's what you said. I hope you don't screw me, Puff. Oh yeah, I did say that. It and I think he did because it didn't do anything. And I hold up the box and just like. <laughs> I have an idea, and uh, Ishu pulls out his notebook and he writes, "Is the mentor controlling you?" and hands it to Grin. Is the mentor? No. <laughs> Ish 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 not points, me. Ishnu points at the notebook. Hands what, you, Grin, uh, uh, you guys you know, can't understand me? Pencil. <laughs> All right, I get, I, I put on the ground, and uh, well, I got, I got eleven intelligence. I can read and write. Um, I write down. Uh, <laughs> smart enough. <laughs> yeah. I write down. You can't understand me? Question mark. Ishnu, no, you sound like a baby. <laughs> All right. Why are you guys being so mean? <laughs> you literally sound like baby. I what? Two question marks. <laughs> Liter literally, as in not a joke, as in you actually sound like an infant. Oh, Puffy, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I write down, it must have been the card I pulled. Was this permanent, or...? You know, I didn't really think Wah. to ask him how Wah. this thing Wah. worked. Wah. He looked look very pensive while he's crying. Oh. <laughs> uh, I shrug. <laughs> you can, can communicate in a written form, so your mind is not entirely degraded. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> so none of you can answer me or understand me. Hey, I, I can understand all of you. Wah, wah, wah. Investigate the the guy. <laughs> Is Melinda okay? She up? <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. she, she's just like yeah. lying on the ground, fuming <laughs> for a minute, and then she got up and is like okay. angrily searching the room by kicking things. I'm gonna walk up to Savathers and I go, listen, Savvy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I reacted poorly because I thought you were calling me an infant. You might not know this about me, but I'm a little self-conscious about my size. I don't know how much of this I can tell. How many of his emotions can I pick up? I mean, he seems genuine. genuine. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever right. he's trying to tell you, he feels genuine. Am I, am I getting contrition from him? Am I picking up like the gist of what he's trying to say? I mean, you at least pick up that it's it's. Can I roll apologetic. my performance? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, roll your performance. 
Yeah, yeah. You you get across that he seems apologetic about something. Um, Sabathurst so just gives you like a, and then gives you like a fist bump. <laughs> I'll fist bump him back. Wah. Do I sound like an infant? Wah. I don't know what that means? I should probably shut up. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give a thumbs up to everybody. And I'm going to pat my crossbow. And I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to give another thumbs up. <laughs> Let's loot this place. Uh, everyone roll a perception check. Meanwhile, uh -oh. uh, Bran and, and Hadley are like... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh wait, I can re-roll if it's a what. Right? Roll so bad. Uh, re-roll for what? Yeah. All right, so yeah, there's many weeps. Yeah, so yeah, the rest of you notice that Melander is just kicking shit. Um, a couple of things kind of fall down with a loud crash and bang. Shakes, uh, it's you that notice that uh, there's a um, some kind of huge um, apparatus hanging on the wall. Um, takes you a couple minutes or so, but you, uh, you do notice that it seems to have crab-like features. Uh, roll an investigation check. I shall. Yeah. Crab thing. Crab thing. Crab people. Crab <laughs> like crab people. Well. Uh, hey, that's what you needed. Uh, um, so... You see this hanging apparatus on the wall, and it and it's very crab-like in nature. Um, and you're like, I mean, you've seen crabs. You, you know where pieces are, and you're like, well, that seems odd. And you go to grab it, and it swings in, and there's a hidden um, area. Crab door. Uh, and I in this way. hidden back room, you find a um, put-together... It can only be described as a apparatus that yeah. you might be able to um, escape in. Um, that is in the shape of a crab. Um, it. It's Crabble. metal. Um, seems to be like you could all fit inside of it, and it would close up. Uh, I feel like I have a picture of it. I crab do. Automaton. It looks like this. Um, and as you're kind of looking around, you notice that in this room, there's some notes, um, that, uh, kind of explain to you how it works. Uh, it, it takes you a good five to 10 minutes of like searching around and like trying to understand it, but you feel like this one is fully put together. The one in the other room was not, uh, and it could be a means of escape, uh, if you needed to, but you're not thinking back. You're not sure if it could survive the weather, but it could be a means to escape. Uh. I think we found the crab boat. I poked my head out. <laughs> All right, hey, crab boat. I'm going to walk in and take a look at it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's, it is a kind of a, a ginormous looking crab, but uh, surprisingly very lightweight uh, in construction. So you feel like... Uh, Can I search for a hatch? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Plenty. Oh, no, nice. Um, I'm trying to remember my notes here. You do not find a hatch. Damn. Okay. Looks like it was built here uh, and would have to be carried to wherever you wanted to use it. Huh. That's why it was so lightweight. Um, oh, we can all fit inside of it? Uh, yeah, it seems to be um, you could kind of take it apart in sections and then bolt them back mm. together uh, so you can easily kind of move it. Um, but um, yeah, you can, you can fit inside. It's portable. We should try to put it inside that tent thing. Maybe it'll fit. Then we could carry it around. <laughs> Whoa, would that work? I don't know. Can roll an intelligence check. 
Wah! 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 Does that work? Wah! Intelligence. I'll roll my intelligence too. Eleven. Grin, it's possible. I mean, mm -hmm. it's magical. Uh, Jacques, you get the feeling that the incantation was only made to shrink what was already part of the bargain, and anything else could be maybe crushed. Hey, never mind, never mind. That won't work. <laughs> What's the thought, though? Did anybody dispel magic? Is that wah, thing? Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh. Um, but you well, guys probably... Here. I'm gonna go out there. It's a little echoey. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but looking around, you don't you don't see too much. There's a couple of like random tools and whatnot, but but nothing that seems to be, you know, magical in nature or anything like that. Um, and the rhythmic thumping uh, kind of continues, but uh, you start to realize that they were the bellows of mm -hmm. the uh, actual uh, blacksmith. Uh, Forge, there we go, got the word out. Uh, and when the craftsman left, it has stopped with the rhythmic thumping. Uh, and the forge itself has started to cool down. Can we, can we search his body? Is it still there? Uh, yeah, you can search it. Hmm. Make an investigation check. Can I search it too? Yeah, uh, and then um, make a I, I... check. <laughs> Guidance! I'm going to walk over to Ishnu and ask him visually if I can borrow his notebook. <laughs> Ishnu, Ishnu hand him in the notebook. Uh, I'm going to walk over to Braun and say, hey, I'm going to write down, can you fix me? <laughs> Question mark. Um, I'll I'm fulfill really, it to Hadley. <laughs> really kind of a, kind of the muscle of the group. And Headley's like, I have, I don't, I don't know what. You're crying an awful lot, and it's disturbing. Yeah. I close the notebook angrily and walk back over to issue and just well, shout it. I'm trying to be friendly. <laughs> By the way, Bron, how are you? I'm doing all right. I've been here for a while, hiding behind that, looking behind that thing. <laughs> um, Jacques, you investigate with Kyle. Um, Kyle, you don't seem to notice much uh this seems to be kind of um uh, it's a humanoid figure with that metallic like head um Jacques, it's it's you that start to notice that this humanoid is not uh, natural in any way shape or form what you thought was like a bolted on head is like an infused metal that has like attached to his head um okay. and what's what's strange is you kind of roll it over and there's eyes in the actual sockets. Uh, like, it's part of the actual head itself has fused together with this metal. Um, but you don't you don't find anything on his body other than... This is one fucked up dude. Hey, nothing here of importance. What now? Well, we have our escape method. <laughs> Abe, is there any, like, uh, exit to this place that, you know, the crab might fit through? Like some porthole or um, Not like that? in here, um, but you you do know that the hallways themselves are about 10 feet wide. So um, with Jacques kind of looking through and finding the notes, uh, he kind of points out some areas that the bolts could be, uh, the crab itself can be easily kind of dismantled and carried and then reconnected back up. But it, it would be challenging to carry it and then also be quiet if you want to take it with you right now. You may have to come back for it later. suppose we have to make a decision then. <clears throat> what is our goal right now? Do we have to find more people? Yes. Um, yeah, there's two more of us. I don't know that. Senga and Ostarot are going to come for. You haven't found them yet? No. Do you know where they are? Not here. When's the last time you saw them? Um. Well, I saw. Bron says I saw Sanga when we split up 
Uh, shit, where's my map? Baby, come back. Uh... Oh, that's the ship. Oh, that's, that's punk. Okay, um, we left the hydroponics together, and I came into the workshop, and she had mentioned being curious about the music shop. Music shop? Why? Hey. Sorry, music hall. My apologies. I know where I'm going. Which floor is that on? That would be... Um, it seemed to be a floor higher. It... Mm, is number nine. Number nine. We're in number seven. So we're in the second level right now, kind of. Yeah, so you'd have to find your way one, one story higher. Sweet. So mentor and any other monstrosities we can find. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, I rolled this a while ago. Kyle. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Uh -oh. <laughs> secret, secrets are no fun. Uh, you hear, um, you hear that. Hello. <laughs> Uh, am I allowed to share this? Or no? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's that, talking in your head. Does anyone hear that? Someone's I don't there. hear anything. Wait! It's the bellow <laughs> stop. I don't hear anything. Oh. Are you okay? You seem lost. In my head. So I seem lost. Oh, that happens to me all the time. <laughs> Join the club. Oh, oh, it's talking again. Because, hi, power, you speak power, a song, strong song, power of a song. Oh. Is this like a inspiration bit that you guys do, or? Oh. Some improvisational theater, perhaps? Does the voice say where to go for this power? Hey, boy. Where do we go? Oh. Hmm. We need yes, to find the mentor and kill them now. Before this <laughs> you find me, leave. You don't need your friend. I agree. This is creepy. Wait. Oh. I don't need friends. Oh. I don't need friends. You smell the power. Hmm. <laughs> <Are> you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Through the door. Oh. I will go through the door. I'm gonna try to snag her. <laughs> what? Uh, Where's she yeah, going? Roll, roll a dexterity uh, check. <laughs> uh, just roll your attack, I'll say, Melandra. Just, okay. Well, hang on, because I will. I'll just I'll roll a d20 and I can. I'll, I'll, well, because my attack has a little bonuses for my sword. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Next check. Can I question Bardic Inspiration? Do I lose that if I die, or do I still have my D8? Or did I lose that when I dropped to zero hit points? Hmm. The creature can wait until after it rolls. But before the DM says, once the Bardic Inspiration died, his roll, it's lost, creature can blah blah blah, can use this feature. I'm gonna say yeah, because you didn't fully like die, you just passed out and you woke up, you're still feel inspired. I'll let it, uh, yeah, I'll let it be. I'm not my D8 to this check then. So 16, dex check. Kylie, what's your armor? 15. Yeah, so uh, you see her start to walk away, and you just grab the back of her um, yeah. and kind of reel her back in. I just hold her like legs dangling. Wow. I have to go. I have to go through yeah, the I may door. be talking like a baby, but... <laughs> to go through the door now. She's talking to invisible voices. I want to go through the door. Now. <laughs> I want to go through the door. Uh, and then that's the last thing you hear. 
They said they, they seek my power. Don't let them. We probably shouldn't go through the door. I'm just <laughs> saying. We go through the door. Where? Maybe, we all... Maybe we can all go together. Yes. But it said I didn't need friends. <laughs> um, what do you think? It's in my head. I don't know. Do I do I have any? Do I have to be convinced by what it says, or do, can I roll no, something? No, no. It, I mean, it was very uh, charismatic. Okay. Um, it was. Um, it was speaking common to you mm -hmm. um, through your head, and it it seemed very charming. Mm. It's very, very convinced, though. I don't know. I think we should go through the door. <laughs> well, you you've convinced me. Okay. <laughs> Is that really all it takes? Hey, <laughs> creature <laughs> warned us about mind control. Oh, my God. That's true. Yeah, that looks like mind control to me. I snapped my fingers in front of her eyes. Do you know a better direction to go? Um, I think I think if I just start walking, it'll bring me to the door. I feel, I feel like if I'm, I'll, I'll just know. I mean, there's there is another door out of this room. Perhaps we should choose a different door than the one that was suggested. All right, hold up a sec. I'm gonna walk over the door. I'm gonna check it for trap. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Your bear trap comes out. Hey, crew. Oh, there'll be time for that. <laughs> it weren't like nice. Weren't all the doors like super well marked too? Uh, yeah. They they all have um different um markings and um there we go uh directions so you can you can follow them uh in fact um in the hallways you guys have found different labels and signs saying like which way to different places uh grin it does not seem trapped it just seems to be uh, a door i'm gonna set down my bear trap in front of the door it labeled and then i'm gonna give it a sexy knock Knock knock. We're crying. Yeah, step to the side quickly. You wait it labeled. and listen. Uh, this okay. is just the, the door. Uh, it seems to be the um, turning around. The door that you guys came in is not labeled, and this door that you're attempting to kind of walk out is also not labeled. It was labeled to go in, but not necessarily yeah. to leave. I'm gonna listen at the door too. No. Uh, your bear trap keeps talking to you. It's hard to hear anything else. Shut up, bear trap. Shut up. Hi. What have you been up to? It's been uh, <laughs> I've been in this bag for a long time, Grin. Um, yeah, it's um, I I'm not gonna lie. I was I was prepping the other day, and I was like, I want to make your bear trap, um, uh, magical. And what's that name where it's like sentient? It's sentient. Yeah, where it's just <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, Grin. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you don't, um, you don't hear anything. Um, it's just the, the creepy castle-esque sounds. Open it. Uh, Abe, have we seen signs for the music hall? Uh, you have not, actually. Okay. Um, but you, you did see signs for the citrine on this floor, uh, which you guys chose not to go to. Uh, you went to the workshop instead. I guess I'll pick up my bear trap. And then I'll uh, I'll look at the door quizzically, and then I'll look back at the group and shrug. <laughs> the stream we learned that's where water is dispersed, and it was full of undead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if water is dispersed there, maybe maybe there's some exit to the outside there as well. Could be. Since we're on this floor, do, shall we check it out? We'll enter. I mean, what's the worst that can happen if we open this wah, 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 wah. Mm -hmm. we also need to I want to go through the door. I would like to check out that door. <laughs> <laughs> we might like check it out. <laughs> we might head that way eventually. Alright, back in. I'm opening the door. <laughs> yep. Is it unlocked? It's unlocked? Oh, it's unlocked, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Yeah, you see a long hallway that is lit with the same luminescent, uh, bioluminescent uh, lanterns. Uh, many doors on all sides. Um, make a perception check. Mm, I'm going to do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, near the end of the hallway, you see stairs that lead up. Hey, look at this! Whee! <laughs> I point down the hallway toward the stairs. New side. There's our way up. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> kind of rubs his ear a little bit. Oh, yeah, sorry. Whee! Um, and Grin, if you're leading the way, are you checking any other doors on the way, or are you just going straight there? Yeah, I'll check them all out. Um, I, uh, I'll check them for traps. Chicken, um, chicken, I'll also chicken. check for any secret passageways or doors. Secret that seems to be a thing passage. here. Uh, yeah, roll a perception for your trap edge. Seventeen. Yeah, you don't find any traps, and you don't mm -hmm. find anything hidden, uh, which is good. And then you uh, kind of pop open a couple of the doors as you go. Yeah, You're going yeah. relatively slowly just to see if you can kind of pop in and see if you mm -hmm. notice anything. Uh, roll a d20 for me. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Um, you kind of pop your head into one of the rooms... Um, and this one has, uh, several books of them. Grin, what would you do with some books? No. Hey, it's new books. <laughs> <laughs> I, I give a disappointed gesture into the room, but I'm, look at it. Right, I don't understand. I go like this. <laughs> it's no poke his head into the room to see what's up. Uh, yeah, there's, there is, uh, several books all around the room. Uh, it seems to be a storage area for different, uh, books. Some would call it maybe a library. All right, I'm gonna kind of try to take, like, a quick perusal of the titles, see if anything stands out. Okay. I know we're kind of pressed for time, but if you'll allow me a few moments. <laughs> Always books time books. for knowledge. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you, you find one that is labeled, um, Pyramus and, uh, a short history, um, and you kind of, like, flip through it, very, like, um, short circuit kind of reading, um, and you start to discover and discern that this castle was built, um, as an experiment, um, at first very few people lived inside of it, um, and then it started to grow, uh, by volunteers who were seeking more knowledge, uh, and it was built to provide what everyone needed. So it had farms, it had agriculture, which are the same. Um, it had sustainable water, sewage, museum, library, you name it. It, it had Some everything factory. that a you know society would need to live on their own, um, and it, it thrived. Uh, from what you could tell um, for a while. Um, the history itself seems to be short and abridged. Um, you don't seem to make much else out. Um, and as you kind of peruse the room, you notice that um, there is like sprays of blood and there's several like carcasses around the, the room. And it, after you read that book and you kind of like sit it down, you realize that this room was uh, apparently the act of some some vicious uh, violence uh, and you're surprised that anything else actually survived. Um, and you kind of put the book back on the shelf and you go to like pick up another one. It just like disintegrates the book. Uh, yeah. Nothing else in the room seems to be worth, worth any time. Yeah. It's going to pocket this book. Here is a short history. Um, uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Okay, um, that took you guys probably about 15 minutes of and kind of looking for different rooms and realizing this was the only one that seemed to be of, like, notice. Um, Grin, you uh, continuing to look for other rooms on your way? Yeah, what the heck. Alright, um, roll another d20 for me. Okay. Another library. Oh, again. Shit, yeah. Uh, so, just like clockwork, Grin opens up another room and is like, <laughs> uh, issue, you heading in or anyone? Right, books. Yeah, issue's gone. Long as <laughs> books.
Okay, um, so this time you find um, a, a room, and um, it seems to be like a study. There's several books and notebooks and journals kind of out and about. Um, some of them seem to be kind of ripped apart, torn, but there's one that you kind of pick up, and it's an old leather-bound journal, uh, and you start to kind of digest it a little bit, and you realize that uh, it was written by um, one of the scholars or mages here who was trying to experiment in not only like uh, different movement and conjuration of places, uh, but also was trying to experiment in um, different ways of necromancy, not necessarily like bringing people back from the dead, but more or less like ways to keep people alive, um, prolonged life, uh, not in the normal like necromantic sense, but more like, hey, if we die at 60, let's try to make it to 70. Uh, and they were just trying to do it in a magical sense. But it was it was very much the individuals who lived here were experts in whatever field they participated in, and they were mages of some sort. Ball of mages. Um, nice. Magic castle. Journal of Extending Life. All right. Uh, it probably took you another 10, 15 minutes of just kind of quick, light reading. Um, Grin, you doing you doing yep. another one? Or are you continuing one. on? Yep. Oh, uh, I'm uh, to uh, oh, 16. Shit, I just moved my page. Um, so, Grin, as mm -hmm. you creak open another door, fireball. Um, it's a box, I swear to God. Uh, what you guys hear is plain grin English. Um, his baby ass voice seems to have worn off. Which means we're spending time, guys. Um, so you creak open this room, and there is beautiful paintings uh, and bases of uh, sculpture and and whatnot. They're they are uh, exquisite, and for whatever reason, it's like this room was void of damage. Um, you wow, feel like you can probably hop place. these and make some money. Yeah, if I can carry them. These are. Sebathur's kind of smiles. This is what my country is known for. Expensive art and knickknacks and stuff. Art and knowledge. Yes. Mm. You find five pieces of beautiful artwork, uh, roughly worth fifty gold each. Mm, how big are they? Um, you can find some relatively, like, small vases and whatnot, okay. uh, instead of taking, like, the big pictures of, like, diplomats. Well, Sevi's kind of, well, Savathur's kind of standing, you know, eyeing at, at, um, examples, pristine examples of his culture. <laughs> I'm just walking around going, yeah, that's, no, well, that's great. I'm going to start shoving things in my bag. <laughs> yeah, you find five small pieces of, uh, his history that you okay. feel like you could hawk for a pretty good amount. These look, um, important to culture and knowledge. People. I'm going to take these. Is that okay? They're not mine. They're not mine either. But they are yeah. now. They are now. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, at this point, you've probably you've made it up to the stairs. Uh, are you continuing to search this level, or are you heading up? We missed this. Are we? Oh, we're going up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we're going up. I think that's the plan, right? We're going towards the music hall, maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. She also said the mentor is upstairs, right? Mm-hmm. Like, oh. Is it top? Did she say it's where the mentor you. was? Well, I think she just above said her. up oh. above her, because, okay. yeah. So anything, I think. And we are already up a floor from her. Or are we on the same floor as her? Same floor as her. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're up a floor. All right. I guess I'm going to take the point and continue to stealth, please. Okay. Do we Roll a new stealth. Okay. Yeah. Do we see any knives okay. yeah. uh, for what's on this level? Uh, yes. So the stairs, you can see. Uh, there's some notifications of you know. Like the arrow, and in common it reads uh, market, uh, music hall, and uh, further to the sixth floor. Um, but it seems to be the biggest 
And there's some like oddities like, you know, storage and things like that. But those are the big like named areas. Market. This I'm guessing that's gonna be eight. And then it says sixth floor. Uh yeah, because you yeah. guys are on the way to the fifth floor. Wait, what? Oh, that's a big ass ant. Uh hold on, I gotta deal with this. Yeah, I found one the other day. It was this big. It's this big. Like this big. It's funnier than a normal ant. Yeah. Well, in that case, Drake throws something. Yeah, Abe's gotta get some tools. No, I don't. Must have made a big ant. You just using a tissue, you just gonna squish it? Oh no. It's on a monitor. My kids have a bug sucker. Suck them up. Is that so they can take them outside? You suck them up and then take them outside yep. or you like yep. suck them yep. next? You suck them up into this thing. Mm -hmm. And then it has a little it has a little latch and the latch is like <gasps> a, a magnifying glass. So you can What's look that? at them and then you take them outside. It's a bug sucker. Oh yeah, this was stuff. this was a scout ant, so it's one of those big ass ants with wings. Mm. Fuckers! Uh, oh, let me turn this light off. Okay, my apologies. Stuff was being asked, and I don't know what was being said. Mm. Uh, yeah, you guys are on floor four. Floor five has the music hall and the market. Floor four, but section eight. Yes, sorry. The market secretary. Okay. So it's the music hall. It sounds like. At least it's intriguing to Kai Lai. The market. Has Kai Lai been pretty chill, or continuing to talk about like going through the door and power and no friends and, and music? Am I still being held, or am I free? Well, I, oh. so yeah. I still have you, but if you yeah. had like stopped talking about like, so, oh, the door and the power and the so she would have she stopped like, for oh. about thirty minutes. Oh, okay, yeah. So if you like seemed like you were pretty chill, yeah. Well, I'm just gonna keep an eye on you, but she'll set you down. As soon as she sets me down, I'm gonna beeline for the door. Ah! <laughs> so you see her look upstairs. Like as soon as you let her go, she's just fucking gone. Uh, that's not good. Beware the voices. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run after him. Hey, wait, no, no, what? Yeah, I tried oh. after him. Oh fuck. Okay, I should have known. Why was I? <laughs> like I should have fucking known. All right, yeah. hold on. No, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna be uh, one time out of like. Bobby's. I'm gonna start. Bobby's. <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm gonna start skipping. Uh, yeah, you go running upstairs, uh, like two steps at a time. Really impressive for. For uh, uh, yeah, two like, and a half, two. Yeah, 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 but you know, you're oh, excited. You're like, okay, this guy seems okay. Yeah. Um. Jesus. I thought I'd build a map. Not that I'm loading a map, but I feel like I built a map, but maybe I didn't map? build a map. I don't know, maps mean combat. I don't think maybe do more combat. You guys should probably roll initiative, though. Um, <laughs> oh, crap. And then I'm going to grab a drink, and then I will build. Uh, and you're blessed again. Oh, shit. I need a drink, too. This, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Gonna, can I sneak up the I'm stairs? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're just going to go slower. And she is, like, full speed at 25 feet a moment, so she's at, like, 50 feet. <laughs> she probably made it up the stairs. 17 sneak. Actually, I'm going to give, since she's running ahead, I'm probably going to give myself the uh, vigilant blessing to give myself advantage. Okay. A lot of players on this board. Hopefully, I got everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yep, yep. Kyle a little would have been up here. Fuck. I should have blessed you. Guess so, huh? Um, Kyle, I'm gonna leave you with this while I go get a drink. But this is what you run into as you turn the corner. Okay. 
I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. We got healing. Yeah, but like blowing on their guilds. It's large damage, though. Snack, I don't. No, like I don't. Yeah. What's one of those BLT? Let's think of that. I think we also have pretzels. Been eating sunflower seeds because they're snack activity. That's true. Yeah, it's a good mouth workout. Yeah, that's right. Mouth or size. You size. say that about about cheese sticks too. So. Mm, yeah, cheese sticks are snack activity too. You go slowly through them unless you bite them like a savage. Are you talking like mozzarella sticks or? <laughs> like yeah, yeah. String cheese. You're supposed to string oh, it. Well, okay. Bite cheese. Andy. I I eat it too. I don't peel it. Oh my god, you guys are <laughs> savages. Savages. Not worth the time to peel it. What are you, an infant? <laughs> Helps. Okay. Hey. Help. Help. Yes. Savor them. Uh, wood. People that were doing very little during the searching, like Melandra, have had time to do a short rest. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. because you're not really necessarily participating in much. Uh, you're just kind of keeping an eye out, you're being vigilant. And you guys spent about an hour. So, yeah, I'll say you could have long rested. Anyone short rest. Wasn't in, in, oh, sorry, short rest. Uh, anyone that was not. Uh, uh, for you. Does that mean in acting? Um, can we use? Does that mean we could use hit dice? Yep. Yeah, you can use hit dice, and if anything would have given you your spells back, um, I think my well, spells were short rest. Which well, while they're searching, I get, I'll use the, the ability. I never had it. It's the uh, song of rest. There, I did I that. Andy, that would alter yours. Well, yeah, you were doing it, but Ishnu, if that had altered yours, you were you and Grin were spending some time actually looking. Right. Around. Yeah, it didn't didn't restore my sadness. Okay. If you use hit that, you get an extra D six because I'm using Song of Rest as well. Oh hell yeah! Right. How do you use hit that? You just press it. Yeah. On your main page, you should have dice at the bottom. You can drag onto the chat box. I got on the chat box. <sighs> Um, and then Green, you were following Kyle behind. I'm sneaking yeah, to my. Oh, sorry, Jock Jacques followed behind her okay. immediately. I snuck up the stairs using my stealth, which was a 17. Okay. But then so my Jacques initiative was a five. I'm gonna stay there. So I'm gonna say everyone is behind Grin. Jacques is closer, unless you guys tell me differently. Then grin, then the rest of the party as you're like following up behind. Melandra would have charged too. Like if she put Kylie down and Kylie took off running, yeah. Melandra would have been right after her. All right, yeah. so we'll say you're up with Jacques. Okay, so um, how's how's that? Does that look right? If you guys can see the map, if not, please tell me. Yeah, I did see the map, but now it's black. Wow. I, I was up and staying behind with Grin. Sorry, Grin. Why does your body disappear? All right. There. Now do you see it? Yep. Okay. I don't... Apparently you just keep disappearing. Um, I reactivated my swords then. Okay. Let me... Let me do the... Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, top of the round... Um, Kylie, you go running around the corner, and immediately, about 20, 25 feet in front of you, is this monstrosity. Uh, and you kind of, like, slam on the brakes kind of thing um, as you come flying around the corner. Um, and we're going to start at the top of the order. Oh, did you guys roll? Sorry. I think, yeah, we lost in the short rest. Oh, more bad. Oh, can we re-roll that? Yeah, you can re-roll it. Cause yeah. <laughs> Mine level two, so it's mine fine. Fuck. Mine <laughs> Did you roll shitty again? No, it's the Oh, mine was so good. Mine was so bad. Yeah. I had a 19 before. I also had a 19. All right, let me. There we go. 
don't, I don't feel like either of you are being truthful. <laughs> Andy was being truthful. Oh. Uh, Sorry. Let me... This music. That, well, oh, if you actually remember your roles. Well, yeah, of by me. Still... I was going to read them all off to you. That's all good. Um, okay. So, uh, Jacques, uh, you are... Um, so, y this is essentially the stairs going up, and it turns the corner. Alright. So, I'll go... So, your turn... Run up the so as you round the corner, you see this individual <laughs> coming coming towards you. It's massive. Uh, you see Kylie kind of like sliding on her yeah. feet. Uh, all right, what do you, what do you I'll run do up next to her? Okay, all right. Oh. I go, oh, dear. Oh. And then I cast, uh, I like, like, kind of close my eyes and then I shoot out a sonic blast. So I shoot out a, wait, let me look how far this goes. Oh, I have to get closer. I have to get five feet closer. And I'm going to cast a sonic blast at third level. So I unleash a destructive wave of mental power in a 30-foot cone. Each character in area must make a dexterity saving throw. No! The mentor! Ah, uh, He succeeds. <laughs> Can I? It. Does that make us mana? Can I use your reaction to cut that? Is that how cutting words works? Um. Yes, yeah. I think you use a reaction to cut it. That um, So you were casting a spell. Yeah, that wouldn't work. That what's make... What's cutting words? Is it a cantrip? It's a. It's my ability. Oh well, let me. Oh, let me look at it. Sorry. It's the lore domain ability, right? Yeah. Cunning so words. It makes a attack and roll, ability check, or a damage roll. So never mind. Attack roll, damage. Yeah, I don't. Well, an ability check isn't a saving throw. No. So you you couldn't cut that, but you could if it was your spell. You could still cut yeah, words, but sense. it just doesn't apply to this. So he still takes half of this damage. Half damage. Okay. All right. All right. Like to hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> so scared, he came around and just shot himself. Uh, I accidentally gave myself twenty-four hit point damage. Uh, were you at zero? Because I'll just do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. that was a good roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, I didn't even look at that. Seven, 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 one, two. I'm sad that he blocked because I would have knocked him prone and pushed him back 20 feet. I guess I'll... Yeah, I'll wait there. Because that's all I can do. Good, good, good. Um, Headley's going to be like, um, so what's the plan? I need to stay input. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, okay. okay. So, so, you see the form in front of you kind of shimmer for a moment, and... Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta do... Yep, and then, boom. He's gonna just uh -huh. teleport beside you. What is that? What the hell is that? I see it! Oh, who, who all can see it? <laughs> I can see it. I see it. I see the edge of it. Uh, this is what you see in front of you. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, no! Look at its feet! Ew, it's... Oh, it's made no! Of people. It's made of people. Um, <laughs> he is going to attack. Um, it's a creature. Oh, it gets worse the longer you look at it. Just don't, don't the more I was studying it. it. I like um, yeah. 
like a body, a head that's spewing Actually, out. no. He would have yeah. teleported here. Um, and then he's going to look at you, Kyle, and you have to make a saving throw. Why didn't it do the saving throw? Come on, you shithead. What kind of? Uh, just make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Things are going well. <laughs> yep, yep. You are currently charmed. Oh no. It's probably fine. Why is it not dropping anything on you? There we go. Charmed. Um, Yeah, and that's that's going to be his whole move, because if the DM would have looked, he could have just done that where he stood. But it's fine. It's more dramatic. Uh, Melander, you're up. Okay, he's right there. Almost slash, slash, slash. Charmed just means you can't attack or target him. Okay. I'm going to look up a little bit. Thank you. I'm going to slash, slash, slash. Don't. <laughs> Okay, that hits. Oh, jeez, 26. Nice, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Flash. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, all right. That's my turn. Uh, end of your turn. He is going to rear around and hit you. Uh, he's going to slam his grotesque body into you. God damn it. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, this is the third time you crit me. I crit on you all the time. So yeah. his monstrous <laughs> form just like rears up and slams into you and there's like a chomping sound as part of the bodies are trying to bite you. I hate uh, this castle. Tell us rebuke. Uh, do it. Oh, you, are, you are currently grappled in his many arms. Uh, he succeeded. You're rolling good. Okay, alright, alright, alright. It's cool, cool. screaming in anger and there's fire everywhere. Alright, that was the end of your turn. Jesus. Uh, Kyle, um, so she's charmed. Okay. She sees me as a friend, right? You just can't attack the charmer or target the charmer with harmful abilities or magical effects. Uh, Kyle, you see a very, um, Beautiful uh, <laughs> halfling in front of you who is playing a harp of all things. Uh, it's very enchanting. But you can't understand why your friends are, sh are attacking him, and you feel inclined to move between you and uh, Melandra. Okay. <laughs> no, stop. I love him. Bring <laughs> He's beautiful. <laughs> and then, um,. Because I'm confused and, about why people are freaking out. I'm gonna. Can I do bardic? Kids, can I do bardic inspiration for someone? Uh, yeah, especially if you're gonna do the mentor, I would love. That. <laughs> uh, but yes, you I'm give. You can give why my other friends are con so I'm gonna That's do bardic fine. inspiration for. Uh... You could also heal. Like... Oh, 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 I can heal. I mean, yeah, you can. You yeah. can heal her. Yeah. Heal me, hold on, yeah. Let me. Let me do that. Let me heal her. Sorry, I forgot that I can do that. Do you have, uh, do you have cure words? I have a healing word, but hold on one second, because I saw higher spells you can level of higher one d four for each slot above her. So I'm gonna use my third level and do healing words on Melandra. Nice. So she'll get three d four, I think, right? Yeah. Do it, and I just. So, oh, I'm sorry, I should have done that. Nice. So you get 14. Hey, that's pretty good for a yeah. healing word. Yeah. Mark it off! Yeah, that's great, actually. Yeah. Cool. Feels so much better. Yeah, yeah Kylie yeah. kind of stands between, like, hey, guys. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah. She heals you. And then uh, I can still do Bardic Inspiration, right? 
Yes. Like, yeah, so I'll just give that to Clipathis. So you get one V8 as your Lysha. And then I'm going to be like, I don't understand what's going on. I'm just trying to play a song here. I'm trying to jam. Um, I know if that beast can play music. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, end of your turn. I have to remember whatever the chart. Okay. So, end of your turn before bronze, you are going to take. Oh, come on, Abe. You didn't code it right. Idiot. You take six points of psychic damage um, as this entity just like parades your mind. Uh, you can make your saving throw again. Uh, and it's wisdom, right? Uh, da, 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 da. God, where the hell is it? Enslave. Yes, wisdom. Yeah, yeah you make it. Uh, so as it's like berating your mind, you, you start to kind of scream in pain and you turn around and there's no bard there. It's just this horrific entity that you've put yourself between. Oh, that's not good. Uh, meanwhile, Bron's like, uh, WTF, mate. Um, Grin, you're up. All right. Ha. Okay. Um... Drop shoot. Pew! Advantage. Pew! Steady aim. Here we go. Get him, get him. Oh, I'll take yeah. it. oh, that was close. You just did it. Um, nice. Uh, and I get sneak attack, too. Nice. So that should be... Three additional D6. Sorry, I forgot to add it on. God, rookie move. That's a nice sneak attack. So that would be 32 damage. Okay, good. That's it. Nice. Turn. Add it on there. Kind of, he reels back with his menti uh, hand-like entities uh, and screams, and all the mouths kind of oh. open out a little bit. Um, and you kind of hear it like not that. only in your mind, but uh, outside. I don't like that. Uh, Grin, you're staying put, though? Yep. Have to. Savathras. Oh, boy, I'm so far away. That's fine. <laughs> it's good. Everything's great. I love it. Oh, no. Okay, well, I will... Remember you. Move my echo up. Okay. Um, and move up here for myself. Got it. Oh, Love it. Dig it. Oh, well, actually, sorry. I'm only going to move halfway. And then Gosh. for my other 15 feet of movement, I'm going to teleport and swap places with us. So, do a little swap -sy. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Got it. Um, so that's my movement and my bonus action. And then as my action, I am going to attack. Yes. No. Oh, you know what? I'm going to cast Bless. Oh. Not Bless. Because I'm a cleric. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to cast Bless. I would like to bless um, both the Halflings and Melandra. So I can do that. I can just do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to put that on you. Yeah. So what it, what you're going to get is a D4 to all of your attack rolls and saving throws. Oh, thank you. Next minute. Right. Or until I drop Concentration. Which never happened first. <laughs> nice. And that is my turn. Boom. Ish new. Get a little closer. There we go. I was like, I clicked it. And then uh, he kind of waves his hands around as flames engulf them, and he summons a flaming sphere. Not a fan. 
It's going to be uh, here. I thought that was pretty good. That as a bonus action, he slams the sphere into the menu. Damn it, man. Come on. Yeah. Six plus. Oops. Six plus one fire damage. Okay. Hmm. Uh, you burn some of the flesh away, uh, and it kind of peels back. You notice that there's another body that's like incorporated inside of it. That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a body parfait. Oh god. Uh, he's out of action. So, uh, Jacques. So I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna cast dissident whispers at a second level. Whisper, 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 saving. Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn it. So the. Higher level, second level does an extra 1d6, so it takes 46 damage and must immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows away from you. So he has to move away from me. Um, is it his speed? I don't like that. Um, so he moves away from you, right? Yeah. Uh, now we're at the start of his turn. Uh, he has to immediately use his reaction if it has it. So it's technically his reaction. I don't think he's using his reaction. So he's going to move 10 feet, pushing Savathras out of the way. Word. Okay. But his movement is real slow. So okay. you see his hands that are just like bodies start to like caterpillar themselves across the floor. Yeah. This is for you, Dave. You're welcome. Yeah. Grappled? Do I go with him? Mm. Thank you. I couldn't remember who was grappled. Uh, yeah. So one of his legs is like grabbing a hold of you and kind of pulling you along. Yeah. You ever gotten a hug from a foot before? Ew. Because <laughs> a body getting the hug by like eight feet. Ew. He took uh, thirteen damage too. I don't know if I said that. Um. Oh no. Let me. Added that on. Can you, is there a way to roll at a higher level, or do you have to just add the extra d6? Uh, no, you could totally roll. So when you when you hold, like if you hold the damage dice uh, with a left click, right click for each level you want to raise it, and then let go, it'll, oh. yeah, it'll, it's fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Um, Jacques, are you staying put? Um... Actually, since he moved, I'm gonna I'm gonna step over here closer to Kyle. Okay, good, good. And well, that's it. Uh, Headley is gonna be like, "What the hell is that?" Um, the mentor. You're gonna get it. Yeah, it's gonna kill me. You're gonna die. Not necessarily. Well, if you get killed, I can use my reaction to hit it once. Uh, Melandra. Yeah. Do you have... You have some spells, right? I do. Uh-oh. Nah, you do. Uh, I have spells. How many spells do you have? I have one spell left. I should have... I have one spell left. You said... Yeah, okay, so... The mentor kind of spins around on its like <laughs> legs, um, and he's gonna lash out at Kyle. Um, with an attack. With an attack. Yeah. So yeah. use your reaction, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Attention to me. I shall cut his words. Oh yeah. 
I'm like holding the damage. No, wow, holy shit! Does that hit you if you take a six away? Um, so he would have rolled a ten. No, it doesn't hit. Wow, that's awesome. So you see the monster kind of like spin around and like one of his big bodied feet kind of swings away at you. Uh, and at the last moment, Jacques, what do you say to make him get distracted? You dare touch her, you mound of rotting flesh. It's a very oh. accurate uh, description. <laughs> Mid-strike, it opens all of its mouths and shrieks at you. Um, but it stops its attack. Uh, meanwhile, Andy, you hit with a 25. And at least it's not as bad as Grin crying. <laughs> Uh, so is his first action. Um, I can only use that once. I'm sorry. And I, and I, yeah, I hit it whenever it turns away, and I say, I did not give you permission to turn around. <laughs> yeah, okay. he's going to attack you. So Yes, yes he uh, will. You hear in your mind, <laughs> leave me alone. Uh, and he's going to attack you. Yes, and get real angry and try to... Yeah, he already swung, so he's got to attack. That's better. There it is. Good job. You worked really hard for that one. Uh, and as the other hand kind of swings around with his feet, they like wrap around you, and you're now grappled as well. Okay. You are grappled. I kept my concentration. God bless. Yes. Yeah, so the three, three attacks in the turn. All right, uh, Melander, you are currently grappled, yeah, but she does not seem to be attacking you. I, is he within five feet of the flaming sphere? Um, how can I? I I would say yes. I mean, the the size of what he is. A shower. Yes. All right. He has to make another save. Fails and takes it. Nice. Whoa! Should I double Son click? <laughs> okay. I was like, damn. All right. So he takes eight more points of damage. Eight more points. Yeah. Here, I'll do this just so we remember. But yeah, he he would have been close enough. There. She's just screaming and raging, like kicking and thrashing while she attacks. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's a hit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And bonus action slash number three. You don't even need bless. <laughs> bless. Bless is pretty sweet, though. Bless, 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 bless is such a good spell. Bless and Bane are just underappreciated. I don't know if that roll's going to come through or not. It was. Only like... problem is, it's concentration. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, All the good spells are concentration. Was that your roll, or did you roll a new... Oh, oh no. Uh, that yeah, that, that misses. Flash. Yeah. yeah. You get, you get she just shrieks in rage in Sylvan. She's saying all sorts of terrible yeah. things, but no one knows. She just sounds real mad. Uh, end of your turn. No one is currently that, so he is... Yeah, you did some damage. He is going to bite you with one of his many mouths. He's not going to bite you with one of his many mouths. Uh, are you staying put, though, before I... Well, I mean, I would have to take my action oh, to yeah, get out, right? Oh, yeah, never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I my burn. Damn, bonus. that's mean. Uh, Kyle, you're up. If I cast uh, Cloud of Daggers, is it Melandra going to get hit? Because he's so big. No, I mean, this is... Uh, this creature is probably Massive. a good... 10 to 15 feet wide. Like, it's huge. Perfect. It's pretty big. It's huge. Huge. I'm gonna cast the out of dagger. Can't do it. Yeah, so you guys don't see it, but there's all of a sudden all, its mouths open up with a <laughs> uh, of pain. Oh, there we go. Damn. 11 to the next floor. And. Can you, maybe I don't want to ask this, but can you cast Cloud of Daggers at a higher level? What level is it? Uh, it's a second level spell, let me see. Oh, so you could, yeah, I mean, you I still could. have a spell slot higher, but what does it do yeah. at higher levels? 
Another D4. Spell, you, the damage increases um, by 2D4 for Oh each. shit! So you know what? Maybe I will do oh, third God level. <laughs> Thank you, Abe. So, yeah, Thank roll you. two more D4s, I'll add it on. But I mark off your last that. level three. Don't Damn. Add. That's uh, nasty. I think so every that time nice. now, you have yeah. to do... You do 64 damage. Ouch. I wish you could move it. Tight, 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 tight. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Does Kylie have like a sweet dance move she does every time she pulls off her cob daggers? <laughs> um, <laughs> she, uh, she starts banging the drum that uh, she got and uh, just kind of like jumps around <laughs> as the daggers are flying forth. Oh, I need to look at something. Burr, 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 burr. What was your drum called? It was the... So, keep in mind, oh, I think I fixed it. it. I don't remember, but if you cast while oh. playing your drum, your spells right. get a plus one to your attack rolls. I keep forgetting oh. that, too. Because my, yeah. my pick of destiny. I can't remember if I added it to your spells or not. Uh, okay. I did! Okay, uh, let's cool. see if I did that to Jagger's. Uh, I did not. So your pick gives you a plus one to your attack and save, right? Yeah, I okay. think it plus one to my attack and my spell save, yeah. Okay, uh, I just fixed it, so now it'll I... automatically do it. Do I still have a bonus action? Uh, you would, yeah. Can I use, um, I'm going to use Unsettling Word. So I'm going to, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Bardic Inspiration um, toward... Uh, the mentor, and then I'm gonna roll my bardic inspiration die, which is one d eight, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's d eight now. Right, here we go. Oh, oh okay. okay. Poop. Um, the creature must Poop. subtract that number roll the next saving throw and makes before the start of your next. Yeah. And what was that last part? So it does a minus one to everything, and then what? It does a minus one. Um, the creature must subtract the number rolled from the next saving throw it makes before the start oh, of your next turn. Nice, actually. I like yeah. that. And it expends the use of my bardic inspiration. Except the one. Yeah. Okay. So All right. One. I mean, even a minus one is pretty decent, but a minus yeah. six possibility. Yeah. And eventually eight? Shit. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Heavy. That's nasty. All right. Remind me of that if I forget. Um. Yeah. <laughs> End of your turn, it is going to lash out at you, because it's still got action. Um, it's going to do another slam attack. One of its arms reaches out, and I can't hit shit. Okay. Uh, I'll stick my tongue out at it. <laughs> Ron is still cowering. Grin, you're up. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's it's oh, actually sorry. looking pretty hurt. Some of its limbs are starting right. to like I'm slosh right. away. There's better. All right. Uh, <clears throat> so that was my steady aim. Oh wait. Oh, I got a my... my... sneak attack. Boop. There we go. I'll get it. Oh, oh holy shit! Hit it wow. again. You see, as the cro the uh, clockwork like, cut, 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 and then uh, the bolt lashes through, and at the last moment, you see the monster kind of like, uh, and it like jugs through one of its throats. Yes, that's a. Jugs uh, <laughs> right all through, um, and it's like sticking out the backside, and one of its mouths is like. <laughs> grasping yeah. for air and it's kind of like okay. flailing a little bit and both uh Savathrus and uh Melander are kind of being like flailed around in the air. It's still up but it is wrecked. Andrew Andrew bad. Can I ask a question real quick for yeah. the lucky re-roll? Would I have been able to re-roll that one? Cuz uh, it was an attack technically or no? Because it was bardic inspiration. I think the actual one that you rolled there to be a D20. I think it has to be a D20. 
Oh, okay. It says when you roll a one on an attack roll ability check or saving throw. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's any kind of D20 check. All right. Thank you. No, good question, though. I was like, just in case. Let me just ask. That would be okay. Um, all right. So, Grin, you can't move, right? I cannot move. All right. So, end of your turn, it's going to make a Hail Mary pass and try to chomp down on Kyle. Oh, Finds her tasty. I understand. Fuck! It shatters. <sighs> okay, so Vathers, it's your turn. It's perfectly fine. We found a monster's yeah. weakness. Anybody it can only. I was going to say, it can only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's its weakness. Oh, whoopsies. All right. And, and, and when it hits her, it can only crit. Right, I don't do it. <laughs> Fuck. Um, so I am going to attack. All right, here's my turn. I'm just going to spend it now because it's what's going to happen. I don't have the sound queued up. <laughs> Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> With action search. Um, okay, okay. So I, get, I get two attacks, but I'm also going to use two attacks with my Unleash Incarnation. Each time I attack, the Echo is also going to attack. So I'm going to get four uh -huh. four attacks on this guy. Hold on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For that. Yeah. How do you want to do this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So um, while it's like grappling that load. Mattress, yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm probably going to kill it, but I'm going to do this anyways. It's been... Five hit points. Um, so the the Savathras that he's kind of holding on to, or it's holding on to with its body, weird thing, suddenly just like melts through the, the finger's arms and turns into the the echo shadow while behind charges real Savathras and, and bashes him mm. and then in like a shadowy flash the one that just melted through the hand turns into the real Savathras and cracks him again and again flashes back to the one behind him and just a flurry of four, four blows he just starts like night crawling back and forth around this thing and pulls it to the ground uh, so as Savathras is uh, just wailing on this thing, uh, pe like pieces of it are just peeling yeah. away and like vanishing into vapors. Uh, Melandra, you're kind of like thrown across the room. Uh, you kind of like skid to a halt as one of the legs just like let go of you. Um, the rest of the monster starts to like peel away to the floor. There's like the bony skeleton is left behind and there's one last like tongue that reaches out and try to grabs at uh, Kyle and then starts to pull her in as it starts to just melt back into the floor and it seeps away into the castle itself and is no more. I don't have to see that thing any ever again. <laughs> Seeing in my nightmares. Every night. Yes. <laughs> Ugh. Let's, uh, hope I couldn't close that picture. <laughs> couldn't close that picture fast enough. Yeah. Was that green? You want me to pull it back up? I can pull it no. back up. Are you sure? Oh my god, you wrote nope on it? Put that back. <laughs> Before uh, I close. Nope. <laughs> nope. Um, so as the battlefield clears and there's nothing left of this monstrosity, um, you look down the hallway and see the sign for the music hall. Hey, time for a party! Do you think that was the thing with many legs, the mentor? The many. Uh, Kylie, the voice in your legs. head has stopped. I don't hear anything anymore. Oh, well, that's a bonus. Yeah. That's like good, it, I guess. It seemed perhaps too easy for the threat that Starchild warned us of. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kicked that thing's ass. Yeah. This may have been merely some sort of manifestation rather than real entity. Yeah, that's true. Like a mentee. <laughs> I'm going to use my second Whitney. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll call it here soon, but are we are we trekking into the music hall? Yeah. Uh, first, I want to investigate the corpse and see if I can... Is there anything left or did it all like melt away? Roll an investigation check. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what I do, dog. 
Uh, eh, 12. Um, you know, oddly enough, um, you know, you look at the floor, the stone floor, and there is the absence of this creature, this beast. There's not even, like, a skin cell that's left. It is completely gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. I Strange. see absolutely nothing remaining of this creature. Concerns me. Doesn't concern me. <laughs> Glad that thing's gone. Hopefully that I, was it. The voices I heard sometimes in here were were in a language not of this plane. Uh, we call it deep speech. Foul things speak deep speech. I mean, I speak deep speech, but I'm not foul. <laughs> I was gonna say. Good sell there. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, there's something, uh, something to miss in this castle. Interestingly, uh, Grin, you no longer sound like a child. That is interesting. <laughs> oh, he still sounds it like is... a child to me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, Grin, I think the only thing left is to pull another card. I'm just, you know, I don't want to. Let's throw that good. out there. We used in a battle. I have a feeling none of them are good and useful in a battle. I think they're probably all hilarious. I pull you... a card. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, why didn't it roll on the thing? I think Puppaluff sold me sold me a rinky dink a magic item here. Is it Puppaluff? Uh, so yeah. Grin. Uh, I don't know why it's not rolling, but who cares? Um, so you pull a card, and as you're like. Puffalo, uh, you pull a card, and it is a large acorn, uh, larger than life, because around it is just hundreds of tiny little squirrels uh, all around it, uh, looking at this giant acorn. And as you go, <laughs> and the card disappears, ten squirrels just <laughs> all around the room, and they look at you terrified, and then they... And they run off in all different directions. I looked at the deck of cards. <laughs> Son of a bitch. How much did you pay for those? I don't want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do the squirrels disappear? Or are, they are, they all, are they all gone? Are they, is um, there, have any you squirrels you hear them in different locations. They just seem to be like scampering down the hallway terrified. <laughs> They're all going to die. Yes, this is this was Ten a terrible place to release those uh, trolls. This poor animal. Yeah, I'm gonna try, try to. The card disappeared, right? There yep. Yeah. Yep. Now I'm gonna have that on my conscience. <laughs> they probably you know, are. I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think that this thing's not gonna help me at all. I think it will. I have faith. Hmm. All right. You'll find the right moment. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm going to put the card back in my bag. <laughs> so, uh, onward and upward, huh? Wait. One of these days, I have a feeling that deck of cards will save your life. That would be hilarious. They make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> make I it mean, so. the DM wouldn't give you ten random cards that do nothing. Is this kind of like the, the Space Quest thing? Where, where, you, where you got the fish at the beginning? <laughs> And you're like, why do I have this fish the whole game? And at the very end, like, it's the key to beating the game. I mean, come back with like battle scars all over it and be like, take this with you. I'll have an army of squirrels by the end. You never know. There is now, oh, I need to mark that down. There's 10 terrified squirrels out in existence. Run around. It's important. It's important. It's... The castle's going to plane shift again, and the squirrel's going to end up like. Did you make this item? Did you spend time making this item? <laughs> I swear to God, I found this item, and I thought, sweet baby Jesus. Because <laughs> it's Don't so mind. good on so many levels. <laughs> I tweaked it slightly. Ugh. I don't like to Glad... just not tweak things. Glad no one's a druid. That's right. Actually, I can talk to small beasts, but they ran away too fast for me to uh, talk. You heard to things like, shit, where the hell are we? 
uh, as it like runs off down the hallway. I literally, that's one of my racial traits is I can sneak the small rodents and stuff. Oh squeak, 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 you know. That's right, didn't you give me a ring of animal empathy or something? Oh yeah, you have a ring of animal handling or something. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of there! <laughs> because no, you rolled right. so high lurk, searching that like random abandoned <laughs> cart. Ring of Animal up. Influence. Yeah, that's right. You have three charges to either <laughs> understand <laughs> animals, cast fear, or speak with animals. Yeah, you've got you've got some things in there. Oh my god. Alright, so you guys are um, <laughs> opening the the hall to the uh, the music hall? Yeah. Yep. Alright, so um, who's leading the expedition? I will. All right, Savathers, so as you well, carefully open up the door. Um, I'll say. Oh, come on. Don't be a shithead. There we go. So you carefully open up the doorway. Uh, you hear the notes of an off-key piano reverberating through the expansive decadent series of chambers decorated with red velvet carpets and drapes. Uh, at the far end, you see a magnificent, a magnificent stage uh, with an entity, st entity standing there, uh, surrounded by several smaller entities. Um, you see this individual standing with a conductor's baton. Um, make sure I drop that on you. Uh, standing with a uh, conductor's baton, conducting four individuals that from this distance even with the dim light that's lighting the corridor uh you can see our um uh, hold on they, like little, they look a little bit like this but they don't seem to be noticing you um it's they seem to be almost singing in different choruses all around this individual uh as you kind of uh open up the hallway door uh, the individual kind of taps his baton and turns around. Yes. Oh, I am. Ex I'm so sorry. Dude. No, dude, come in. Oh, you are. Just yeah. please come in. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I don't want to do it. He, he just kind of holds his hands up. No, I insist. And he pulls... Oh, no, you don't even have a mouth. His hands in, and the all of you start to kind of walk towards him uh, one by one. Let me give you let me give you a little map. Oh, shit. Can you share the picture, Abe? Oh, I Do will. We see, oh, I see this guy. I will. Yes, welcome. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Uh... He's not as bad as the mentor. And some of you may remember this map. It's an I old but a goodie. This right. where, uh... Oh, I don't know which one it is. I can't, I can't see it. Uh -huh. So this is what this individual looks like. Ah, oh. Uh, it's just like the D and D adventure of Dane's worst nightmares. <laughs> um, and you guys are walking your way. Uh, I remember this map. Kind of on your own accord, uh, yeah. uh, being led. This is my Calliope found her relic. Can I, can we, I'm gonna strum some music while I'm walking forward. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I'll, oh I'll, I'll man, music, music off. <laughs> it's like, kind of like a, uh, like an inviting, kind of like threatening kind of music. Mm, that's beautiful. <laughs> and he kind of pulls you closer to him. Uh, and that's that's where we're gonna end the night. Nice. In in the conductor's mm. corridors. As as cleanup phase here. Bless is probably gone at this point. Mm. Okay, let me fix that. Because it's it's probably been over a minute, right? We've been talking. We've been we were talking for, for yeah. a while. Yeah. Oh, that grappled shit off me. Yeah, I'm also grappled. <laughs> fix that shit right now. All right, hold on. Uh, okay, you're good. You're good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Grappled. Boom. Let's double check. You're no longer charmed. 
Okay, all right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at yes. all those mallards. What do they look like? Oh, oh they look, they look so good. They look like pudding. They look like of mouths. Jibber, 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 jibber. They just jibber. Uh, okay, I think I fixed everyone. <laughs> Double check. But this this is a this is an A Piper original map. Shock, um, Melandra, and Kylie all have bless on them. Oh, that's what I forgot. Okay. So, oh, that's what this is. Okay. Boom. Boom. Who am I missing? Ah. Jokes. Jokes. Boom. All right. Fixed it. Um, I mean, he doesn't seem aggressive. He seems very inviting. Um, don't do that. Um... <clears throat> but that's where we'll pick up next week with uh, Jim the Jeweler. I mean, um, the conductor. Jim, <laughs> I have stories. It's totally who this guy is. <laughs> Made after. Uh, so there. Um, you guys killed the mentor, and I'm not happy about that, but it's fine. Was he planning on getting away from that? No. He, he was going to eat someone's soul is what he was going to do. It's fine. Today. It's fine. Everything's great. <laughs> he, he crit Melandra really well. He yeah. did. Um, <laughs> Rachel, I need you to keep track of how many times I crit you this campaign. <laughs> um, Rachel, I mean, she's been knocked out. Because <laughs> a it's, lot. It's four. <laughs> yep. It's getting a lot. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. Yep. I didn't knock you out tonight, though. No, I did. Never mind. Yeah. Did. Never yep. mind. Yep. You've only been crit three times. Only yeah. three times. And Abe's killed me twice, and Data's killed me twice. Sure. I mean, knocked unconscious. I didn't kill you. Right, right, right. I did I not leave the damage. Technically, you killed her outright once. <laughs> yes, because I, I totally forgot to change all the damage, so you were <laughs> totally fighting like a level 14 monster at level 5, so it was bad. <laughs> Whoopsies! Whoops! Or roll up that backup character. Keep it handy. <laughs> I just next time we go shopping, I'm just buying. Well, healing potions won't matter because they're just gonna like take me out in one hit. But You're gonna make a bard if you die. Yeah. Make a bird. I mean, oh wait, 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 hold on. Um, you guys got some experience tonight. Yeah. Oh yeah. <gasps> okay, you're up to almost ten thousand out of fourteen thousand because you killed both the mentor and the craftsman. Didn't encounter anyone else though, and I rolled a lot, and nothing. <laughs> everything's great, so good job there.